I was looking up, you know this guy, I hope I'm saying his name right, Lem Sese? I have no idea. He's a poet and he's from Manchester and he's got a book that I have upstairs about his childhood. And um, his parents were from Ethiopia. And um, on Twitter es- yesterday, he was like saying happy Ethiopian Christmas. And the art style he was showing, it looked just like the art style from, of the Ethiopian character from Pentamon. Mm-hmm. It, like, it was exactly the same. Mm-hmm. And it was way nicer than the European art style of the time. <laughs> well, that's not difficult. Well, they act- well they, in the game, doesn't he actually look like a person? Yes. Where like the priests look really like that medieval thing where they don't quite look like people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not priests, monks, whatever the difference is. It's a, a priest, is, a, a monk is just like a sort of extreme priest. Priest, monks have hard lives than priests because priests at least can go out. Monks have yeah, to stay in Yeah, they're just like the... sort of like, you know, full on priests. Yeah, monks have to stay in the monastery all the time, don't mm-hmm. they? But obviously they're Most allowed. Of them. They're allowed to go out, but they're supposed to spend like say twenty three hours out of the day in the monastery. Mm-hmm. Where priests are allowed to go outside. Mm-hmm. And, some like, of them aren't allowed to go out. Priests? No, some monks. It depends on the order. Well, they can't go outside at all. Some of them, like I, I can't remember which. Not order. even for like a walk. No. To a restaurant. <laughs> I don't know if restaurants were as much of a thing no, in like the I'm 1100s. talking about monks now. <laughs> oh, I don't know how monks now work. And also, I'm talking and also, more about like the 1200s. Well, that wasn't when Pentium was said. I know, but I've been reading books that are. Also, restaurants have been around since Roman times. I know, but like not in the same way, like not around an abbey. Yes, they would be. Even in the game, Pentiment, there was restaurants right next to the Was Abbey. there? There was an inn. That it's, wasn't it's a restaurant. It's kind of the same thing. Mm. You'd order food and have a beer. Mm. It's, the, it's the equivalent. Mm. <laughs> anyway, I was talking about today. Mm-hmm. Like, can monks today go to the cinema or to the restaurant? <laughs> I just want to care. <laughs> <laughs> She's on my lap. You jingled when you coughed. It was very sweet. <laughs> Priest proselytize monks study. That's the at least what they're meant to do, right? It's just sort of you you just kind of lock yourself in and illuminate manuscripts. I want to read what Canary says. Oh no. Not out loud because it's too long. By fifteen eighty two. Okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> By 1582, the dates of important Christian holidays had drifted. So the Pope Gregory whatever thirteenth, is it? was concerned. He got a group of astronomers and got a new calendar. The new calendar solved a number of tricky issues and the majority of the Christian world adopted it. But the Orthodox Church disagreed. During the Great Schism of 1054, it split into its own arm of Christianity. Orthodox Christians do not recognise the Pope. They reject the concept of purgatory and they disagree over the origin of the Holy Spirit. So, following Pope Gregory's course, correction would have meant accepting an overlap between Passover and Easter, a move that went ahead against the holy text of Orthodox Christianity. So, the Orthodox Church continues to use the Julian calendar. Ah. Longer than it looked on page, sorry. (laughs) (laughs) TLDR splitters. (laughs) Anyway, there we go. Also, there's an island... um, Oh my god, I'm not reading that. Same, I couldn't even get through all of Drea's CPU ranting and Discord. There's a there's a Scottish island in the Shetlands, and it's called I don't know how to pronounce this. F O U L D A Fulda. Mm. It's not all of the Shetland Islands. It's just this one particular tiny island. And to be honest, it sounds more like a I don't know, like, a, like almost like a serfdom or something, because there's like fifty people on this island. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, these like fifty people on this tiny island in the Shetlands in Scotland. They celebrate Christmas on the seventh as well. Mm-hmm. They have they have the old fashioned calendar, like Ocanarius was saying. No one else in Scotland does, and I've no idea why these fifty people do. They just do. Just want attention. But yeah, I think it was something ridiculous. Like free, it was definitely not more than three hundred. It was fifty to three hundred people, and mm-hmm. I was like, does that even count, Nick? <laughs> it's like a hemlock. Like, well, no, I mean, like that means you were probably all just an age. There's probably just one big family. Probably. Right. Let's see if this runs at all. Oh, it's a bit framey. Did oh, I say sp- okay. did I say that word wrong? No, schism is right. So I what, think what's funny about it? It might then? be a reference probably to Benny Hill. Sorry. <laughs> okay, this seems to be running okay. I might I I'm currently using mouse. The first time I played this, a mouse. I was using um, I'm currently using a mouse. I just say you use mouse and keyboard. You don't say a mouse and a keyboard. I'm using mouse. Yeah, I'm using, I'm using mouse. I'm using a mouse or the mouse. I'm using mouse. That's not how people say it. I'm using mouse. I'm using a mouse or the mouse. I'm using mouse. A mouse or the mouse. And the first time we played this, like two weeks ago, I used controller. So it might be a little bit choppier. We'll see. Also, I need to remember how to play with a mouse. Space see? seems with to do this. with a mouse. You didn't say I need to remember how to play with mouse. 
Yeah, but you say I play using mouse and keyboard. No, you, you don't. don't say I play using a mouse and keyboard. A mouse and a keyboard. No, you say you... mouse and keyboard. No, you don't. Yeah, definitely. No, he doesn't like speaking English practice. I love you <laughs> <laughs> and mouse. <laughs> what? And a mouse. And a mouse. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's not how you open it. It says it's right there. Yeah. E. Pretzel says I'm right. Mm-hmm. Dre is right on this. Not Pretzel yep, says I'm there right. there we go. Pretzel says I'm right. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's going fine right now. I will turn it up a little bit for us, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit low. F Ow, taco. There we it's go. It's a bit low for us. I can't really hear. It might be low for you as well. Let me know. Hang on. I might... Oh, no, don't... don't Back to main menu, you idiot. <laughs> That's how we talk in Yorkshire. Use a mouse. I can't do a Yorkshire accent, sorry. You do that though, right? I mean, I've seen your streams and you don't in particular, but it would be funny if you did. <laughs> they go like, you know, like everyone in Yorkshire works in a mine or used to. So they go like down to pit for some reason. Meese and keyboard. Meese and keyboard. Meeses. No cheeses for us, meeses. Oh. I get close without committing. <laughs> Biological prosthetic center. We keep you working. Ooh, look at that. They've stitched a little arm onto this person. Lovely. Apparently that's a thing. You can stitch an arm on and it'll sort of slowly grow to match the skin yeah, tone I've and stuff. Yeah, I've heard that, yeah. Which is cool. So this must be new. That's kind of cool. I'd prefer a robot arm if I could, like a cool high-tech robot arm. But if they just wanted to bolt another arm to me, I'd be fine with that. Welcome to the Ishimura. If you missed the first stream, because it was a little while ago. Are those oh, look, little bean babies! What the fuck is that? I think they're fetuses. Little beans! Why are they in little jars? I don't know, little beans. Oh! Can I stamp a bean? No! Oh, Christ! That was more dramatic than I thought it would okay. be. <laughs> what? They're beans! Stop it! Sorry. What if they could be saved? <laughs> well, it's a bit late It's for future that. science. Maybe you could have saved them. Oh, hold on. Is that a baby crying? I hear a baby crying. Oh, God. What are you going to find? <laughs> You're going to find some sort of mon monster baby. Oh, it's a little baby zombie! Oh, God. That's very disturbing. Help him! Ah, uh, but it's through a window. I can't really do anything. Oh, Christ. The cat is now standing on the mouse pad. Oh, Ooh, good no. girl. Right. <laughs> you good girl. There's like Star Wars back to tanks where they're regrowing genitals or whatever. When Since when is game... When have babies crying in horror games led to anything bad? The cat is currently waving her tail directly in front of the chat, by the way. <laughs> Em is now moving it. I'm trying to see if I can... No, it's not long enough to get the camera. She's now right over my hands on the mouse. Can you, like, get yourself fucking together a little bit? <laughs> Don't talk that way to Cash. <laughs> can you, like... Can you, like, sort yourself out a little bit? Leave her alone. <laughs> Sorry. She's mocking things. <laughs> she's gonna sit down. She's gonna sit down. Can you, like... Oh, no, she's Chill the fuck out. There we go, she's leaving. I thought she was going to sit down and that would be, very, that'd be very funny because then she'd be blocking this for Drea. <laughs> right. Let's fight some babies. Security le level three required? Fuck me. I don't even think we have level two yet. <laughs> Hi. I'm going to have to fight a baby. <laughs> That's nice. Well, you fight all the babies you oh, want. Oh, God. Uh, am I shooting these fucking nodules on its baby tail? We don't remember it's not the face. You have yeah. to destroy the limbs. Okay, let's step on this baby. No! <laughs> Jesus. What? Please stop. Babies are very steppable. Stop it. Stop it. You're saying terrible things and I won't listen to you. <laughs> I'm just saying physically they're quite fragile. Stop it. Although not really. Stop you, it. I think you could throw them down stop some stairs it. and they'd be fine. Stop it. Oh, it's fired out a little dart. Look at that. Can I chop off your arm? I can, and now you're free dangling. <laughs> ah! oh. Work the ammunition on its baby tail. Well, what else would you call it? <laughs> Text log. Specimen 426 is ready for harvest. I was about to notify Alvarez to prep for medical leave, but when I checked the database, I saw Ensign Sable has been moved ahead of her. Is that right? Alvarez has been on the waiting list for three months now. I thought arm transplants took priority over a cornea. 
Here's your clerical error. One of them bought CEC stock at the last purchase, one didn't. Guess which one was suddenly bumped to vital personnel. It's not worth the headache to push back on it, trust me. And before you think about filing an ethics complaint, just remember the wise words of Hippocrates. Shit rolls downhill. I know a baby that fell down eight stairs and came out fine. I, it's just a thing. Like, they're very springy. When I they basically a, don't have bones. When right? I was about six or seven months old, maybe even younger, maybe five, four months, my parents, I was born in Ireland, but my dad's from England. So after, right after my birth, until the age of like two and a half, we lived in London. And um, even though my dad grew up in Norfolk and his parents are from Manchester. Mm -hmm. But whatever. We lived in London and... Um, I don't remember living in London, but they were going up some train station. I don't know which one. And apparently I fell out of the pram and I fell all the way down the steps of the train station. What, like Battleship Potemkin? So they brought me to the <laughs> hospital and the hospital said I was fine. But I've often wondered if that explains quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? What? You were supposed to say, of course it doesn't explain. Of course it doesn't explain. Because, I mean, <laughs> look at me like I've got OCD, I've got depression, I've got dyspraxia, I've got <laughs> problems with my lungs, problems with my eyes, I've vertical. You're perfect as you are. I'm basically falling apart. You are kind of patchwork. <laughs> <laughs> like Battleship Potemkin. <laughs> the baby's extended coccyx. Maybe that's, what you know, it's just a mutant coccyx. Do babies basically have no bones or do they have way more bones? One thing makes Chil them really springy. Children don't have as much bones as adults. I thought they had more bones. I thought, or no. I thought they had like twice the bones or maybe they have no bones. I, no, they do have bones. Is it all just like cartilage, like a fish or a I, shark? I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> babies have more, more bones, bones that fuse together over time. So they're, they're basically like Oh, they do, because remember there. that ad for the milk, the milk propaganda ad that was an Irish Dem TV? Dem bones, dem bones need calcium. And it was two kids knocking a witch into a cauldron. Yeah. Anyway, there's a kicking little baby. Can I shoot this? <laughs> that feels Snow. a bit too wrong. <laughs> Why are they growing babies? Uh... They're clearly alive. Look, they're moving. I don't know. Are these like clones? I don't know. Well, ugh. maybe they they're growing making... people for transplants. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> that's like that that, that that terrible movie with Andrew Garfield. Ne and and Keira Knightley yeah. and Carrie Mulligan, Never mm -hmm. Let Me Go. Yeah, that I hated that movie. It was a good premise, but it wasn't but a very good movie. But it is that premise, yeah. Maybe the book's better. Or maybe these are just back to tanks. Maybe these are like, No, I those know, are babies, babies and they're clearly alive. Yeah, but maybe they're broken babies and they were like, oh, we'll fix them. We'll put them in the back to tank. And... You know, now they'll fi now they'll be fine. <laughs> this is very disturbing that they're taking because somebody wanted a cornea at transplant, and they're just taking that off the babies and giving that to some adult. Maybe. Oh, maybe they they don't they probably don't even have brains if they are for that. How come the babies are naked and he's wearing underpants? Uh, modest. Well, these might be the back to tanks for the people, and these might be like storage for the <laughs> baby organs oh, or something. God. Can you bless the tank babies? No! Please, no, I'll cry. <laughs> okay. Please don't. Okay, Leave the babies you. alone, please. I love you so much. Don't hurt the babies. <laughs> Could just be the crash. Yeah, like you wouldn't want to deal with babies on a ship, right? You've got little x-rays. Maybe they're just, like, they don't have brains. Can we just leave? Okay. This is very disturbing. I don't like it at all. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 Spawn. Oh, oh Jesus, Jesus Christ! Shoot the baby. Shoot the baby. Shoot this baby as well. Oh, fucker. Okay, stomp on it. Stomp the it baby. It has dar arrows. I know. Fucking and hell. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stop it. Run away. Run away. Run away. This has gone really poorly. Okay, there we go. Give me your tentacles. Okay, it's fine. We're all good. I will use that right now. How does one use this? I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Q? E. No. <laughs> Stomp huh. Luckily, they've picked up lots of ammunition on their journey. The little baby zombies. Yeah. You should have smashed them when you had the <laughs> chance. It's all the babies you left behind. It's, it is not, is it? Scan rig to unlock workstation. I didn't realize they were actually tentacle babies. Yeah, they're actually babies. <laughs> <laughs> They're babies. Some sort of horrible uh, mutant infection has gotten into the baby tanks Well, all below. the humans, because the guy yeah. that was killed earlier, Chen, he came back as one of these. Yeah, so they're zombie babies. Some sort of zombie uh, crisis. Like in 
the Dead Alive or Brain Dead. I can never remember what's the actual title by Peter Jackson. Oh, yeah. Where there's a zombie baby, but that's because two of the zombies have sex. I remember. <laughs> you were horrified by that movie. There was lots of gross stuff. <laughs> the zombie baby wasn't actually that gross. Let's go to the sanitary showers. How do I heal? Hang on. Let me, let me quickly go into the keyboard and mouse layout. See, it doesn't say a, a keyboard and mouse. How do I... Oh my god, why does it do this? This was a known bug, by the way. That it just sort of breaks. So, maybe we don't see this. <laughs> maybe we don't see the controls, we just work it out. F? F is how you heal. <laughs> no bloody plates. Or bed pens. I don't think you're supposed to eat out of those. Somebody left money in the shower. Oh. Baby from Baby Eli Dead Alive is gratuitous and disturbing. I hated that movie. <laughs> I really like that movie. It's the movie where the infamous line is, I kick arse for the Lord. <laughs> and then a priest... It like, was I kick ass for the Lord, wasn't it? I think it was kick arse because he's uh, from New Zealand. <laughs> Do they say arse in <laughs> yeah, New Zealand? Yeah, I think so. And then he roundhouse kicked a zombie's head off. I would have thought arse was very Irish. No, I think it's a Colonies thing as well, because the British say it. Do the British say arse? Yeah, the British say arse. And the Australians, I think, say it, and I think the Kiwis as well. Probably some others. I don't think anyone in the North Americas say it. I need some more help. F to heal. Fuck for fuck, I need some more help. <laughs> F to heal. Oh, dear. I shouldn't go near that. What's the... Uh, how do I see my... Objective. That was an important thing. Is that... F? No, that's heal, obviously. J, H. What was the thing to... Uh, was it tab? Was it catch lock? Oh, Christ, I don't know. <laughs> There's a thing that seemed very important, which is show where to go. T? Not T. G, V, C. That's stasis. X. It's X. And it's right here. Good stuff. Can I, like... Do I have to shoot you because you look like you're gonna hurt me? Oh, fucker. Uh, oh, I can just, just fucking disable it. That's fine. Uh, navigate with this. Turn off that. Who should we... Uh-oh. Right. Crash, crash. Turn off. Enter. Who should we get to direct Lord of the Rings? How about the enter key doesn't work. How about the guy who did the movie where zombies have sex and make zombie babies? I might need to actually use the... Um, I can't press the enter key. Well, actually, Bexby. It just does that. Well, actually. It, it completely fucks everything if I press the enter key. Are you are you still seeing the game? You are. Okay, we'll assume that's fine. Well, actually. <laughs> might be a problem. Sh I'm trying to talk. Shh. Well, uh <laughs> well, actually, Bexby, uh, Peter Jackson wasn't chosen to direct Lord of the Rings. It was him what that approached the studios with the idea I'm of Lord of the Rings. So he was always going to be the director. I'm heading back there now. Ooh. Watch the bolts on that path. <laughs> not losing anyone else. Mission accomplished. Oh, I already forgotten what it was. X. There we go. We need to go that way. And it's interesting, actually. You'd be surprised. I know this because I'm a massive Lord of the Rings movie fan. A lot of studios were saying no, considering that, you know, Lord of the Rings was a very popular book no. series for decades. Mm -hmm. A lot of studios were like, you want to make three fair movies? Go mm -hmm. away, boy. <laughs> I doubt they said it like that. <laughs> you don't come back I'll just do this to you so I can't no power do I have to turn back on the fucking power to that thing so apparently what Peter Jackson because Peter Jackson wrote the movie he also wrote the movies with his wife Fran Walsh and their writing partner Philippa Boyens and Boyd, apparently well whatever and I think I, I think they they tried to like make a deal where okay, they were getting rejected by so many studios they were like okay we'll say two movies mm -hmm. and um, they went to I guess it was New Line Cinema wasn't it yes and the head of that which I hope to god wasn't Harvey Weinstein Harvey Weinstein was involved in producing them yes but is, that, is he New Line Cinema yes well maybe it was Harvey Weinstein then no idea but anyway whoever was the head of New Line Cinema went like why do you want to make two movies if there's three books you should have three movies and they were like yay someone finally <laughs> wants us to make three movies Lots of people want to change this, though. Like, a lot of people want them to turn either Mary or Pippin into a girl so that the, fellow, <laughs> so that the fellowship would have one girl. Because that's what they used we to We need do. a sexy hobbit. Well, it wasn't really that. You know, what they, you know, they used to do that in action movies. They'd just be literally one girl. Mm -hmm. 
None of these hobbits have sex appeal. I don't think it was meant to be like a sexy hobbit. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> they Well, you say that, but look at um, the hobbit with the dwarves. They had a sexy hobbit. They, no, mean, a sexy mean, dwarf. Well, they kind of sex, tried to sex up all the dwarves. They did. Well, None of them not, looked... Not Bomber. <laughs> Poor yeah, Bomber. A lot of the other ones, though. Mm -hmm. They were not like how dwarves are supposed to look. Mm -hmm. They're not even how dwarves looked in the movie universe. Mm. Surely you need two girls. So you can have the hot one and the smart one. <laughs> Which would be the hot one and the smart one? Pippin would definitely not be the smart one. Maybe they'd made Pippin like a sort of stereotypical bimbo. Well, Pippin already, then... Pippin already is a bimbo. <laughs> oh, well, Pippin. well Pippin's, Pippin's always doing things wrong. Is Pippin hot enough to be a bimbo? You know what I mean. <laughs> like, Pippin's always doing things wrong. Half of the first movie is just Gandalf shouting at him. Yeah. And same in the book. It's just him going, you fool of a tooth, over and over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go back and down? I'm not really sure where we go, because that door is locked and I can't seem to activate Pippin it. Pippin will do anything for money. <laughs> I, we are definitely meant to go back Pippa? up. Pippa? Pippa the Hobbit. Oh, God. <laughs> How can we force in a love story without a girl? How about the dwarf and the elf guy? Fine, then. <laughs> do I plant this here? Is this where I need to plant the explosive? What the fuck am I meant to do? Go through here, but there's no power, and I can't activate it. Well, they did have Arwen and Aragon, so they managed to keep a romance in it. Oh, I just have to turn this on. Do I? But the thing doesn't work. Can you plug this in for me, please? <laughs> this controller. <laughs> Plug it in where? Into the USB port on the front. Mm, what if I break it? Oh, do, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't speak like that. Fine, I'll do it so. No, fine. No, no, fine. Fine, I'll do it so. <laughs> What the fuck? You just said, oh, what if I break it? Well, you were supposed to reassure me. <laughs> I'm sorry I called you a bitch. No, you're not. You're doing a lot. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. It's one of the main things you call me. That's not true. Mm -hmm. Pippa, Mary, Frida, and Sammy with an eye. <laughs> <laughs> right. I will have that for whenever we need to look at menu options. <laughs> But yeah, the movies did have Aragorn and Arwen because in the books, you don't really get much of Arwen. That's all in the... Is this the right word? Appendices? Appendices? Yes, appendices. Yes, that's all in the appendices, the whole love story, really. In the books, you don't even know that Aragorn is in love with Arwen at all. Just the ends... The third book ends with him just marrying her. And you're like, what? If you, ha if you, like, if you hadn't seen the movies, you'd be like, what? You never mentioned you were engaged to this woman. Yeah. <laughs> well, there is one scene. There's a scene in the first book when they're at Rivendell and Bilbo before he does the whole scary Bilbo thing. He's like talking to Aragorn and he's teasing him about Arwen. So you can get the subtext that there's something going on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's where we figure out what the stasis button is. Is it C? No. I do like the, I do okay. like the books. No. But I'll do the black oh. I'll do the blasphemy thing that you're never supposed to do if you read a lot of books. The movies are better than the books. They are. They are. Have I'm sorry, Grenarius. <laughs> Have you read the books? Uh, yes, when I was younger. I haven't read them in a while. I haven't read them in a while either. Keyboard and mouse layout. Please. I think the last time I read them was when I was Stasis in my is C. early 20s. It so is about C? 10 years ago now. What? Oh, I probably have to be aiming. I forgot. Movies are actually better, I think, having reread them. I mean, they're just better stories. I mean, there's some bits of the movies I don't like. Some changes they made that I don't like. I think Peter Jackson and Fran Walsh and Philippa Boyan kind of to humour. I think their humour is very bad. And that showed in The Hobbit when they completely made up their own jokes. Oh! Get his legs! Get his fucking fuckers! Yeah, Tolkien actually, for someone who fought Moro 1, Tolkien doesn't write battle scenes very well. So maybe <laughs> that's because he fought Moro 1, where he's like, I'm just going to make this as undetailed as possible. The battles are much, much better in the movies. Not just obviously, because visually it's going to be better, seeing it visually. But they're just, just, you know, the books are quite boring, the battles. And they only seem to last a couple of pages. A lot of the books are quite boring. <laughs> Like, so, they're not that well written. Well, Tolkien wasn't a writer. He was trying to write myths and languages. He wanted to create languages and myths and somehow ended up with a story. Mm. <laughs> not really what he you wanted. You can tell. Parts of it are well written. Parts, Parts of, it of it are really are, yeah. good. But not all of it. <laughs> Some well, the, of it is not best, very good. Usually, not all the time, but usually the best parts of the movie are just straight from Tolkien. Mm. 
Is there anything cool we can buy? Ooh, a stasis pack? Oh my Christ, I hate this fucking UI. <laughs> Except, there we go. Anytime I have to navigate through a menu, I'm going back to the controller. Christopher Lee correcting Peter Jackson on someone, how someone should react to being stabbed in the back. <laughs> that is quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, restore status energy. I don't know if we need that. I'll get maybe a couple of health packs. It's funny that you that's mentioned that scene because that's in the extended edition mm -hmm. and it just shows that nowadays people don't watch the originals, they watch the no. extended editions. No, who would? Like, who, in, in the current era who is going to watch the original theatrical versions of those movies? Well usually people don't tend to watch extended versions of movies mm -hmm. they just watch the original but with Lord of the Rings it's like oh we'll watch the extended which is weird because that means the movies are even longer mm -hmm. so you have even less time. It's just they're so much better. Like, once you watch the extended editions, it is hard to watch the original editions. Like, even me, I've never exactly been active or a social butterfly. <laughs> but even me, when I'd be watching the movies, extended editions, someone would come and bother me. Because mm -hmm. they're just, they're like nine, what is it? Is it 12 hours? It's about actually? 12 hours yeah, in total. Yeah, it's nine for the originals and about 12 mm -hmm. for the extended. So even me, someone who's always had, like, nothing to do and no friends, <laughs> people would come and, like... Somebody would come and be like, get out of your room now. Stop mm -hmm. watching what of the rings. No! <laughs> the zombie baby from Dawn of the Dead 2004 was the first thing. It was the <laughs> most first thing. I don't remember Dawn of the Dead 2004. You really Thank have you, to Nathan. turn that off. <laughs> no. Get rid of that. It's awful. I'm going to add more annoying ones I forgot over the weekend. My wife has said she will watch them one day just to finally do it. And I point to the extended editions and show her the runtime. Three years later, she should <laughs> listen to it. We do it every couple of years. Coming up! She just let her ah! watch the original. She can do nine hours instead of twelve. <laughs> well, you know, she could watch like one one day and the second one next week and the third one the mm -hmm. week after if she has like actual things like friends and a job and a child. <laughs> I think, speaking of Dawn of the Dead, I think I watched the 2004 Zack Snyder Dawn of the Dead first. Oh, yeah. I, I watched that. it when it came out. I think I was about nine ish. And uh, my dad showed me Dawn of the Dead. And I remember, as a nine-year-old, it being fine. It's probably best to watch Lord of the Rings in the cinema if you can. Because here, at our local cinema, every Christmas, they tend to show extended the extended mm -hmm. versions. So that's probably better if you can just, like... Like, not all three on the one day, obviously. I'm going to a bomb, by the way. But, like, if you, it's better to... Because then in the cinema, you know, you can't. there's no distractions. You can just sit three hours or however long mm -hmm. you can watch it. I do like the original Dawn of the Dead, by the way. I should say that I have seen the original and it's very, very good. Is that the one in the, in the mall, whatever they call yeah, it? Yeah, the shopping mall. That was quite good. Take cover to detonate. I mean, I can go back here. It's probably fine, right? I probably love, no I love Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Lord of the Rings. <laughs> that, I mean, I love Lord of the Rings so much. One of the unique things is called Lord of the Rings. I know. <laughs> I know. I sort of forget that she's named after Lord of the Rings. I just sort of, if you say Frodo now, I associate it with like a sort of shy pig. <laughs> she is a shy pig. Oh god, you're quick, aren't you? No, you're not now. <laughs> Good stuff. Yippee. Yeah. <laughs> Give me more of that. Like, I really loved the movies. And then when the first movie came out, I had just turned nine. And my parents took me and my brother to see it. And he was like three or four. We were both we, we, kind of too young to go and see it, to be honest. It was too long and it really went over our heads. But as I got older, I loved it more and more. And then when I was in my teens, I read the, the three books. And I read The Hobbit. But like The Hobbit, the book, that you can read that in a day. That was the first book I ever read, on my own at least. It's a lot of people's first book. It's very popular. Oh, no, Jesus, sorry. I, I think it was just, <laughs> I trailed a leg along beside me and I thought it was another baby. <laughs> That is my reaction to any babies, not just the undead ones. It's time. I love post-apocalyptic fucking horrible nonsense like that. Lads, lads, lads. I don't know what just happened Come while people are saying boys? lads, lads, lads. Someone redeemed. Come on up, boys. The two towers is good because of the fighting, but I sleep to the rest. Get out. <gasps> Get out! <laughs> there are a couple of Lord of the Rings <laughs> naysayers in the chat. <gasps> <laughs> Not everybody likes them. Even people you would assume are nerds. 
fuck this shit. Sorry, we are full. Lots of liars saying they're loads of things first as a very hungry cash filler. I read it in the very hungry... Well, it's it was from the very, very hungry Richard cash Herring's... Oh, I can't remember the rest of it fucking... Is it like Leicester Square Theatre podcast? I've never listened to Richard Herring. <laughs> he was in Taskmaster, wasn't he? He was, and he was quite funny in Taskmaster. I've just never listened to him. Am I meant to go this way? I am. Exactly that. Lots of liars saying they read Lord of the Rings I, I first just, I just, very I literally, I literally just read I that. I wasn't listening. I, I, you. <laughs> I didn't read The, the Hunger Cash, but it was read to me. That was when I was very small. I never really read any children's books. I mean, The Hobbit is kind of a children's book. So, that counts. You should check out Richard Herring's rich, racist liberal sketch. It's quite good. <laughs> Richard Herring was kind of funny on Deathmaster, but I've never really done anything else with him. Oh, is this a hologram boy? My input, my input should be read twice, thank you. <laughs> Used to be on Google Twitch playing cool against himself. <laughs> this is oh, is this your girlfriend? I think so. Medical is overwhelmed. We Hiya. Need help. Hi, honey, I'm Hi, Nicole. Nicole. Hi, honey, I'm home. handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Wee, <sighs> He's turning into a zombie. Look at all his blood. It's, he's leaking. He's leaking. Kill him. Investigate the emergency room. Investigation completed. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, he's leaked fully. You are very leaky. There you go. <laughs> Any Nicole's a goal, am I right, lads? Don't read that one twice. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole Brennan. Is she is she from the bread making family? Oh today, what is it? Brennan's bread today. Today's bread today. Brennan's bread? Yeah. Brennan's. Today's bread. Today. She's from the bread making family. She's rich. I think there's many people called Brennan. All right, <laughs> Kelly. What? Wow. <laughs> I'm just saying it's not automatically related to bread. I was making a joke. I know. It's not Dixie. I don't know if anyone outside of probably the Republic of Ireland would get that. <laughs> Surely in Northern Ireland they have Brennan's bread. I doubt it. They probably have fucking Hovis. Oh, <laughs> in the face you made! Well, it's already bad. The mention of home. It's already bad enough that in Northern Ireland they have that weird table. <laughs> Where's the proper table? The right, I, the right table. I got to the hungry caterpillar after Ulysses and before Biff and Chip. I Biff and Chip, <laughs> all the magic key. I loved those books. <laughs> what the fuck are you saying? That's the magic key books. I I kept some. I have them upstairs. I showed them to you. They were adorable. Are, 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 I fucking loved them. You might have them. dreamt this. No, I showed them to you, Kate. I, I fucking you. loved them. Oh, I loved them so much. Uh, I read that message primarily as I got off to the Hungry Caterpillar, by the way, which made me do a double take. You mean the best Tato? <laughs> <laughs> the Emma tried the uh, Northern Irish Tato and went, oh, it tastes the same. And then about five minutes later, uh, it's just slightly worse yeah it's not as nice but it, it like it doesn't leave as um it just tastes a little less nice mm -hmm. it's like it's like there's not enough flavor in it or something <laughs> i read the magic key too she's not imagining it oh i loved those books there's a bit there if you sw swap a brain i was with too bread. old to be reading oh. them because they're meant to be for like people learning to read is this a bluey thing i'm so sorry i love you and support you you're dead I You're actually you dead. You. I love you. You're actually dead. I love dead. you so much. I love you too. <laughs> well, actually, the books that I had, they weren't meant for children learning to read. What happened mm -hmm. was the Magic Key books, they started off as like, I think they call it basal reading. It's like books for children learning to read. And then they made a TV series. And the TV series was so popular that they made like more regular. It was still like a picture book, but it wasn't, you wouldn't be able to read it if you were just learning to read. So I, maybe I was the right age to read them. I was like seven or eight. I have them upstairs. You can tell yourself this. Oh, go get them. Oh my God. Why are we on a magic? Is this the new Animorphs? I love the magic key. Oh Christ. <laughs> Carry on with your game. Who else watched Muzzy? I saw ads for Muzzy, but I never got Muzzy. Muzzy was the sort of like freakish, hairy man who taught you French. Was that Muzzy? <laughs> I think that might be Muzzy. Sorry. Emmy, Emma says that she uh, remembers Muzzy. <laughs> yes, that is Muzzy. Muzzy. Is Muzzy still around? Muzzy! Oh, Jesus, that looks worse than I remember. 
That's like a fucking horrible, horrible CG version of Muzzy. Muzzy teaches English to children as young as two is and up. Oh, he teaches English now. He's moved up in the world. Muzzy. This is the ones I remember. Learn uh, French was the one, I think. Learn French with Muzzy. This is multilingual animated vocabulary. I speak English. I speak Dutch. Ich spreche Deutsch. Je parle Francais. There we go. <laughs> right. That's Muzzy. Apparently there's a 3D CG animated Muzzy. Look how fucking horrible he looks. Oh God. <laughs> I did the learn French and Spanish one. I never... I, these were like tapes you had to buy, I assume, right? <laughs> I don't know what Muzzy, if it was effective or not. Is it like Duolingo, but for like uh, furries? Because he looks a bit like there'd be furry art of him. <laughs> Just a fluffy boy. Anyway, let's go back to this. <laughs> Kid sitting in front of the TV saying, Je suis la touve, I or something. And then the mum was like, yes, that's one. French they're speaking. Oh, God, Emma. What the fuck is this? I got it for my 8th birthday, I think. Mm -hmm. 2000 would be my 8th birthday. Mm -hmm. Or was it my 7th birthday? The Magic Key and the Rook King, as seen on TV. See, look, it's not. It's not like... That is very young children kind of stuff. The, the text is very large. So, if I was 8... Oh, God, yeah, that's not the That's not an 8-year-old book. Well, I like it. This is like 3-year-old book. It's not... 3-year-olds <laughs> couldn't read that. Stop being mean to me. I'm sorry. Apologize. I love you. Stop being, I'm sorry. Stop being mean. I'm sorry. Maybe I was seven. <laughs> That's an updated one. Mine were a lot older. Well, I loved these. I mean, it looks like a standard kind of children's book, right? I loved it. Let me see. Does it say? Magic Key is produced by Hit Entertainment for BBC. When the magic key on Floppy's collar starts to glow, Sorry. the children are off on a new adventure, whizzed by magic to wonderful lands and faraway yes, worlds. Yes, beef, chip and kipper. I'll show you, I'll show you. Okay, well, I suppose you can't really see. Um, can you see? Mm -hmm. The three white kids are... <laughs> well, they are three white kids. They're siblings. The three crackers are... They're, 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 they're beef. No, Biff on. is a white guy's name. Shush. Biff must be that brown haired kid, right? Um oh. That looks like a chip. No, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> no, the you're wrong. This kid yes. looks like a chip. No, no, shush, stop talking. This is chip. This boy is brown chip. Brown haired guy is chip. The little blonde boy is Kipper. Oh Christ, that's a dog's name. Well, I think played by are, Martin Clunes. I think these are nicknames. I don't think these are their actual names. Like Chip Was he named after Martin Clunes? Like Chip is short for Christopher. Kipper. And Kipper, Kipper is short the for... Dog. What would Kipper be short for? That's a toad, not a frog. What would Kipper be short for? And Biff... I can't remember what Biff is short for. And Biff is the only girl. And then the two black kids are also siblings. Wilf and Wilma. Mm -hmm. There's Wilf. And then the girl is Wilma. <laughs> okay. What? They are! And this Mom is... Mom the Biff. And this is their dog, Floppy. He belongs to the white kids. Mm -hmm. And he has a magic key. And when, you know, they go on adventures, the key glows and they go to magical worlds. Why is she worlds. dressed as a tiger? If they're going to a fancy dress party. Okay, why is fucking Chip all morose about his he, life? Because he can't decide, he can't decide what costume to get. So, so Floppy's key glows, because you know, you learn a moral. And they go through the vortex to a magical world. And, you know, they learn a moral. And they get to keep a souvenir from each adventure. And did she just get turned into a cat? She did, yeah. <laughs> And there's two other kids. I think they're siblings too. Two like Asian British kids, like of Indian or Pakistani descent. And they're Anisha and Nadim. Mm hmm. Patel, I think. Anisha and Nadim Patel. I thought Kipper was the dog too. It's such a dog's name. It is. It's because of Kipper the dog, played by Martin Clunes. No, Floppy's the dog, because he has dog ears. <laughs> I can't hear Biff as a name without knowing what it also means. What does it also mean? Biff. There's Biff from Back to the Future. There's oh, Biff from yeah. these books, apparently. Does Biff also mean... Is Biff that thing where you, like, ingest alcohol through your anus? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> there was no Asian kids back in my day. The magic key got woke. Were the two black kids, <laughs> it? Were the two black kids in it? Wilf and Wilma. <laughs> Sorry, that's one of the funniest things ever. 
I'm joking, right? Yes. Were the black kids in it, Wilf and Wilma? I don't know. I really, now that I'm older, I know that Wilf and Wilma are all people names. But when mm-hmm. I was small, I'd never heard of those names. I thought they were the coolest names ever. And I was like, I want to be called Wilma. Did you never see the Flintstones? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a Wilma in that, isn't there? Mm-hmm. It's at the risk of a timeout, I will word this politely. It's the part of the anatomy that the gonads of the male will make contact with during intercourse. Oh. What, like the perineum? Or like what they slap against? Because that could be, that could change depending on the position. <laughs> my school friend's neighbour was called Skip and they had a dog called Robert. Oh my god. What? Absolutely baffled me even as a child. Well, was it just like a nickname? Mm hmm. Harris is asleep after another dose of sedatives he seems literally unable Biff means fighting in Australia a Biff this is just annoying me now straight they're having a Biff this is just annoying me now because Chip is obviously short for Christopher but what is Kipper and Biff a nickname for oh it's probably something ridiculous like Christian or something well they're not going to call one kid Christopher and their other son Christian why they could be freaks (laughs) (laughs) I'm looking up what it's nickname Biff is uh, Biff uh, Digestiva no, she's and a... she was named after Yakult. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where Biffy Clyro comes from? Are they named after the perineum or the fighting? I don't think they'll be named after that. I didn't know the term Biff for that. <laughs> Christened name, apparently. Uh, his bizarre explanation of uh, the events in the colony points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere, Planetside. His guilt is not in doubt. Two security officers were present when he took Dr. Schiarello hostage and murdered Nurse Evans and Harris doesn't deny his actions but he shows no remorse. In fact he insists there was no crime, specifically that Evans wasn't a nurse when he killed her. This is classic sociopathic behaviour but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He's affable and friendly, able to empathise and offer original opinions. When questioned about Evans' murder however he becomes withdrawn and uncommunicative. He claims the explanation is stuck in his mind and that talking about it mixes up its message. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. During his long waking periods, Harris exhibits writing behaviour on any available surface, claiming that the dreams need to speak and that he's attempting to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. Given the complexities of his case, I plan to reach out to my colleagues for more insight. They're going mad. That's fine. They're going mad and turning into zombies. They're becoming zombies. Yeah, zombie people. Power cells. Oh, fuck off. More power cells. <laughs> I don't want to do more power cell shit. Where do I need to go? Oh, good. Through the locked door. Fantastic. So I need to get a power cell and put it in there. Woo! Did I go in here yet? Yes. Oh, the... I didn't unlock this, though. The cat's upstairs sleeping on my side of the bed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she loves me. She does. <laughs> Ensure power is being used on the circuit breaker. So I need to... What? Oh, fuck me. What do you want me to do here? Replace that with... That one. And then take this. It's being used on the circuit breaker, isn't it? Is this a circuit breaker? Ah! Don't stomp. Aim. That's what I want. Where's the fucking circuit breaker? I uh, yes, I know I need to go back there. Do I need to like follow this along? Where's this going? I think it's going like up into something. The fuck was that noise? Was that my own footers? The baby stopped crying. Is this pulse drums? I think I just powered up the shower. Lack of home repair skills showing. I can replace a fuse. Sometimes, if it's not too complicated. I am really bad at home repair. I've never been very good at it. Active play? Oh, we've already seen that. No, don't bother. I don't need you. Go back into this? Turn this off as well? Oh, I need to turn them both off. Okay. Now, how does one... I finally found what the real names are. What? Oh, God. We're getting magic key lore. How do I pick this up? 
Well, I found out some of their real names. I'll try again. Uh, C. Nope. F. There we go. Magic key lore is the best one. Oh, fuck off. Oh, it's a baby! And there's another one nearby. Oh, God, the baby's right fucking there. Die. And the baby down here. Let's just chop off its little tentacles. And then there's a boy, an actual man. We all good? Two babies and a man? I can take on two babies and a man. I think there's still more. Because I hear fucking- oh! Oh, There's a couple more. No, oh, run! Fuck off. Now I think we're fine. <laughs> it says it says Kipper's real name is Christopher. And Chip's real name is David. How does that work? And Biff's real name is Barbara. He's a, his name is David, but we call him Chip and because Biff, he likes chips. And Biff's real name is Barbara. Mm -hmm. That kind of works. Not that, really, no. No, I mean, no, it doesn't. <laughs> that doesn't work at all. He just actually. loves chips, he does. Our oh, Biff. Our oh, chip, whatever. <laughs> We're all just fucking insane. <laughs> right, plug this shit in. <laughs> Yippee! Open the fucking door, thank you. I don't remember these characters. Apparently there's two other characters of East Asian descent, so mm -hmm. like Korean or Chinese or Japanese. It says there are siblings called Lee and Ling. Mm -hmm. I don't remember them. I don't remember any of them. <laughs> Did you not do these books in school? I don't think so. I do think I recognise the like logo and titles. So they were probably on the shelf at school, but I brought my own novels to primary school, Ooh. so... <laughs> not to be too insufferable. I brought like uh, Dungeons and Dragons novels oh, to... Yeah. <laughs> I, I sometimes do wish you could be a child. Not, fuck no, not even a little well, bit. Well, not most of my childhood, no. <laughs> But like these little, these, I loved these books so much. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can just read them now. It's not going to be the same though, is it? It might be. You get joy out of Bluey. Bluey is not that childlike. Bluey is clearly made more for the parents than for the kids. <laughs> a little scuttling baby boy. Hello. They've gone to the, uh, <laughs> the shining school of film composing. Wait, 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 wait. Oh Jesus, look at the blood hole. Is that where the baby came from? Most babies do come from blood holes. Ew. <laughs> what? They do. Oh God, what are you? Oh, you're a lizard boy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Shut up for a second. Fucking give me a minute. Fucking hell, lose the arm. There we go. <laughs> That's fine. Drea in school. Biff, Chip, and Kipper. No thanks, I brought Dov Dovzeski. <laughs> Dov Dostoevsky's annoying to get through as an adult, let alone a child. Well, those nicknames are silly. I can see Kipper for Christopher. I thought it was Kipper Chip. I thought it was Chip. But David being Coffee called works. Chip and Barbara being called Biff? It is probably because he likes chips. But no, the books I were reading were uh, more trashy than the Magic Key books, probably. But they had blood and orcs. I wish I'd kept the other ones. It'd be a nice memory to have. I remember when I was probably like nine, maybe, I brought in a book by a writer called Or A Salvatore. Or A Salvatore, I don't know how you pronounce it. Mm -hmm. uh, about Drist, the dark elf in, Lo in Dungeons and Dragons. And you were laughing at me. But my teacher got slightly mad at me because there was like swords on the cover <laughs> and went, that's not appropriate for children. And I went, mind your own business, did, basically. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Good for you. <laughs> did you get in trouble? Uh, she just said, hmm, maybe next time bring in something that is like less violent looking. And I ignored her completely. <laughs> Drift novel, Dreader Drea. I read something like 20 of those books. Three, maybe? Four are good? Security request retrieved. You left me. I woke in the dark with them scratching in the walls. Scratching like rats. And you will lock me in with them. Fuck it. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. Oh dear. Good plan. She's got a man. Well, maybe she has, like, fucking cursed babies in her or something. So she should cut them out. It's like Prometheus. Oh, 
Milo, you're a person. How are you doing? Uh, oh, God. Oh, Christ. Well. Mm. Aren't you going to talk? <laughs> I, I, hi. Hello, who are you? Oh, your arm's gone a bit fucky. Are, are they you infected? Okay? Your eyes are gone. Uh, you might not. Oh! oh! Well. Oh, so Probably the virus the, the virus makes you kill yourself and other people first, and then you turn into zombies? I guess so. It makes you like a weird murderer boy. You should then... just you should mess their bodies up, because they're going to become can't zombies. can't get in there. You, yeah, there's a... Oh, I thought that was a hole. <laughs> no, it's like a glass door. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lee. That you run into if you're a dog. <laughs> sorry, Lee. I nearly ran into a glass door the other day. <laughs> I, can see my, I can see myself running into a glass door. <laughs> I, I nearly ran into a glass door the other day in, the sh in a shop. You should try and smash those people if you can. Because they're going to come back as zombies. I know. Probably as soon as you're about to leave this room, their tentacles will start sprouting out of their sides. It's very Resident Evil. Resident Evil 4. That's the one with all the tentacles. No, boys, it's the happening it? where the plant virus oh, made everybody kill Christ. kills them. <laughs> Don't compare anything to the happening. <laughs> I was being sarcastic. I know. I can see you running into a glass door. I can't see you yourself running into a glass door. That would be a mirror. I think maybe you need to be banned for a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> My parents dog ran into a glass door in my grandparents house once and is still frightened of my grandparents house Poor because thing. of it about two years later she can't go into my grandparents house without crying Poor. because well she, she won't go into your grandparents house now because your friends have been yes different, but you? before that she would normally she she would sprint through their house out into their garden and then one day the glass door was closed and she bunked herself either way you've been framed will give you 250 quid for it uh, that's not still on tv i is it? can't imagine it is <laughs> surely not i always found that show sort of sad really <laughs> it would just be babies falling over and everyone laughing <laughs> Well, they are morons. Okay. <laughs> what? Are you saying the babies are smart? There's no need to you're, be... you're the fool then. You don't need to be mean. <laughs> I'm not being mean. They are morons. I was just thinking the same thing, Nuku. Drea can't get us on. You're in the just... Oh, I am in the ja just can't... Ja the Thank you. <laughs> you're in a ja I, I turned into speaking hotties for a second. <laughs> You're in a just chatting character a ch category. Why can't I fucking speak? You're in a just I... chatting category when I enter to see a woman cutting her neck now. Well, to be <laughs> fair, when he booted space. the game up, the game did come with a trigger warning. <laughs> yeah, Maybe... but I'm not on Dead Space. Maybe you should put a trigger warning up. Dead Space. There we go. Fantastic. Put up a Set game Dead Space. There we go. Put up a trigger warning. I'll do it after the stream. I'll put one on for next time. Well, apparently there's like lots of disturbing... Oh, people. Christ! Trigger warning. Oh, well, we have oxygen. We're fine. Isn't this like that plane the other day? Did you hear about that plane? It was no. going to Alaska, or it was Alaska Airline plane, and one of the windows smashed, and the air was coming in through the window. Oh, I hear babies. Did you hear about that? No. That sounds fun. This survived. I wouldn't mind that. This, well, that, that can suck people out. Apparently that's a myth. Apparently you don't get sucked out. Okay. Apparently it's just windy. Okay, well, it's very dangerous. But they, I don't know if it is. I think it's fine. Well, they managed to land the plane and everyone was fine. They'll probably make your ears go a bit fucky. They managed to land the plane and everyone was fine. See, it's fine. <laughs> but apparently... Yeah, Mike, he's right. It does sound terrible. And apparently the window was found in someone's garden. <laughs> it's like there's all those urban legends about people getting killed by, like, piss crystals. By what? You know, like... <laughs> there's a... I don't know if this is true. There's a myth that planes will just sort of jettison the filth. From the like feces the toilets. And the yeah, the filth. It's, <laughs> from... it's excrement. <laughs> um, and they will like drop and kill people or damage people's houses and stuff. I don't know if it's true, but I wonder if the window nearly killed someone too. Drea, do you reckon the worst outcome is if the passenger's ears will pop? Because that is deluded. <laughs> <laughs> You can land without a window. It's this, fine. This coming just a couple of days after the plane collision on a runway in Japan. Everybody's oh, yeah. getting final destination. I think those people were all right, though. I don't think many people died, did they? Or am I thinking of something else? Because wasn't there an earthquake in Japan and not many people died? I think so. Well, they're good at earthquakes because they get so many. All of their buildings are, like, you know, bendy. They go like that in an earthquake. Yeah, the Alaska... I think San Francisco does, too. Yes, like it that. does, yeah. <laughs> the Alaska things that we're talking about, Silas, that's where the window came out. Granted, I watch most streams. I'm just usually too busy to talk, but my shift ended early for the first time in nine weeks. 
Christ. Hello, Ian Smoke. I is it Ian or I am? I am Smoke. I am Smoke 66. 666. The Coast Guard team died in Japan or in Alaska? The civilians in the passenger plane died. A lot died in the earthquake, but not off the plane. Really? A lot died in the earthquake? I mean, assuming some people died, it's an earthquake. No, but I think, it, like, I think it was relatively small. It was like less than 100 people. Which is, I'm not downplaying that, but I mean, for an earthquake, that's not too bad. I'll see if I'm wrong now. Earthquake, Japan. I was referring to the Japan runway incident. There's just a lot of stuff happening in the world. Oh no, the Japanese death toll is rising actually. No. From the earthquake. 161. Apparently the, the rescues attempts are being hindered because of the snow. Hmm. It says they pulled out a 90 year old woman out of the snow. That's nice. You laugh. I'm cold. Stop it. Sorry. I just think that's a very sweet image. They pulled her out and she was just shivering in a jumper. I'm cold. <sighs> I'd like some Horlicks now. I doubt they have that in Japan. <laughs> they probably have something nicer. Some miso soup. This is nice. This looks nice and chilly. Look it's at all the people though. They're going to come to life and like attack you. Eh, they're bound up. It's fine. I can squish him. I'll squish you. You cut off his legs. Squish him. Cut off his legs. Yeah. Oh, I'm not able to squish him. Yeah. Cut off yeah. their legs. Yeah, but that would waste ammo. I think this is fine. I think they're missing too much to come back. They probably need, like, at least some limbs. <laughs> that person has limbs and a head. There we go. I'm, I'm leaving mainly gutty works. Oh, go this way. Miso soup is brine esque. I love miso soup. I went to an all you can eat Chinese buffet recently when I was in Spain with my parents. And, uh,. Ate so much broccoli and miso that the waiter made fun of me. Here's what's weird to me. At one point there was 77 dead and 35 missing. Now it's 161 dead. It probably takes time to locate and confirm. Yeah, it's probably that, you know, they, they might not have reached mm -hmm. the town and they might not have realised. Because usually initial news reports are never accurate. Mm -hmm. Japan doesn't really have Horlicks. They have Milo, which is kind of similar. I don't know what Horlicks is, I should say, just off the bat. That's some sort of thing that they have in England. I associate think, Horlicks it? with the elderly. A Do bit we like have um here? a bit like Bovril. Oh Bovril Bov I know. I think that, yeah. Horlicks is like a sweet Bovril equivalent. It is my unfortunate duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Mathis dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted. It will be left for the investigators to determine once we return to port. I will constrain my comments on to the condition of the body. Subject was in generally good health for his age. How old was he? Though a blood test indicates his something count was very low with... Oh, I can't read any of that. Yeah. <laughs> with... In particular, almost non-existent. His pre-flight and physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset. But it does not appear to have any effect on his death. Multiple contusions on the arms and hands indicate a brief struggle pre-mortem. Light contusions, he died. <laughs> Unnatural death, he got moided. Isn't it just malt? Horlicks? It might be just malt. Like like a malted milk drink or something. Like hot chocolate for very elderly people. In like, in firm care oh, and stuff like that. Oh, it was New Year's Day that they got the earthquake in Japan. Mm -hmm. The 1st of January. Cutscene for some reason. <laughs> oh, we had that the thing. Security badge. That's what we wanted. Rip out his weird little spine rig. Oh! I don't want well, to. Well, I need it now. Oh, it's a boy! It's a fucking manta ray! Fight him for it! Ah, oh, fuck, this might be some sort of boss boy. Did you suck him? Ah, oh, Christ. Okay, I'm gonna need you to, like, take care of this, I think. Kick him in whatever he's got in his genitals. What? <laughs> Kick whatever genitals he has. There we go. Shoot him. Shoot him, like, in his chunky thighs. He's got very thick thighs. There we go. Easy enough. Ah, reload, maybe! Or just stomp him. Fuck it, stomp him! Just beat the shit out of him for a bit. Yeah, fuck you, Captain. <laughs> Go on, do it. I'm getting you stomped. There we go. <laughs> Lovely. Kill the Captain. It's like Vegemite, we're all brought up with it from childhood. Oh Christ, more boogers. Uh, legs first, and then arm probably. 
There's some drama going on in the comments, too. Why? I can't tell you. <laughs> Look, can't. Dish, girl, slay. Oh, God, it's making! Run! This person has taken ages. They've been typing for like two minutes. What the fuck are you? Little flappy prick. Run! Oh, Christ! I need to leave! Let me out! Run! Run, 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 run! Oh! Oh, Shoot his legs! Shoot his little Legos! Shoot his Legos off, you fucking idiot! Stamp this idiot! Stomp him! Okay, I am really fucking hurt and do not have much health left. Shoot his Lego! Is there still a Flappy Boy coming? There is still a Flappy Boy coming. I'm out of ammunition. That's bad. Fucking hell, you're still going! Where's Flappo? There's Flappo. Fuck right off. Oh, right, bad time. I need health. <laughs> Retrieve the captain's rig. That would be lovely, thank you. Silas, you showed a lot more <laughs> composure than Jay in this game. <laughs> I'm doing fine. Give me the spiny juice. Isaac, well, you're alive. Your you're alive anyway. You have the captain's rig. Fuck me. <laughs> Good response. I saw it happen. Fuck off. The flying one turned the captain's body into a, another one of those things. The same must have happened to Chen. God. Maybe the command computer has something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. At least I can upgrade your clearance. Fantastic stuff. Back out. Good stuff. Those bird ones will find a dead body and make it a zombie, so don't ignore them for long. Manta rays need to go down quickly. Your actions are always funny. That's very kind to say. So he might have, like, flapped his way into this fucker and then risen up a headless boy. Good to know. Now I can open up more chests, by the way. Yippee! Call the lift. I want to leave. I want. I want to go. I hate it here. I hate this hospital. Although I don't know, maybe we could use the baby meat to repair ourselves if, if it came down to it. Probably it's all mechanized. Isaac. What was that? Oh. <laughs> what the hell's happening? The computer says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward Aegis Seven. Oh God. I have to get to engineering. There's no time. That I'll drop in the group <gasps> Are they fighting with each other? Unless... No, it's about the teachers. Here. Oh my god, the girlies the are fighting. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to be a zoomer. <laughs> <laughs> Go to security station. Objective cancelled. Go to the hangar bay. Fine. Oh, Can Dead I... Space Isaac. Stoic silent, but we don't know what important thoughts he is having. Dead Space Remake Isaac. Fuck me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have heard that. That's the biggest difference between the two versions, is that uh, Isaac was not voiced in the original. They've so surprised no one. I don't like stoic silent people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you could sort of... Im it's a bit like uh, Half-Life, where you could just kind of imprint your own kind of thoughts onto him. Or a bit... Um, like, that's a big thing that the, the Silent Hill 2 remake looks really shit about. Oh, they're making a Silent Hill 2 remake? Yeah, it looks really bad. I don't like remakes in general, but this one got very well reviewed, so that's why I'm playing it. But um, when they released the ad for the new Silent Hill 2 and they made James, is it, look so fucking goofy and over-emotive. I was like, oh no, <laughs> Bloober team, you've done it again. And I mean that in the worst way possible. <laughs> Ooh, I can toss things. It is Half-Life 2. Yay. <laughs> it's just a different style. I liked what I saw of the Or streams too. All does fit. Yeah, read that. Everyone brings their own thing to Twinch. I should stream again, so Twinch. I should. Yeah, I'm just going to call it Twinch from now on. Twinch. <laughs> Twinch is a better name. Oh, I really shouldn't be using this gun because there's no ammo. In Dead Space 2, they revealed his face and voice anyway, I think. That's probably why. They're, like, keeping it consistent. I wonder, will they redo or remake Dead Space 2 and 3? Because in 2, 
Uh, two is really beloved as well. Two is a really loved game, Dead Space 2. It's three that everybody hates. Nobody likes Dead Space 3. It's the mass effect of horror games. Twinch.tv slash Nuku. I wonder if you could buy the name Twinch. Where am I going exactly? Off in this direction. Where is that? Oh, in here. Okay. I can now open these chests! And get actual fucking ammo. Three edge of co-op and microtransactions. Yeah. I remember I watched... I watched a playthrough, like three episodes of a playthrough, back when Let's Plays were a huge thing on YouTube, of um, somebody doing a co-op playthrough of three. And I don't think they ever bothered finishing it. They hated it so much. And this was a big fan of the first games. I think it was Jesse Cox. Who was still doing stuff, if you know that name. <laughs> if you're old, you might. <laughs> Uh, it's the only one I didn't bother with. I still didn't bother with three. I think that was a lot of people's experience. People saw the um, people saw the reviews and went, "I don't need to play this." A dark horror game about being isolated in a remote space station. That's a co-op. That checks. Co-op, which is inherently real fucking goofy. Like it's impossible to make a co-op game that isn't inherently goofy because that's just what co-op does to games. Ah, uh, this is probably gonna go well. <laughs> Can I reload my big gun as well? Because I like this gun more than I do the plasma rifle. This sucks. Hiya! Any babies to shoot? <laughs> right through here. Oh, there's a shop though. I should buy some stuff. Do you find the babies easier to kill than the adult ones? Yes, much like in real life, I'm <laughs> assuming. Jesus. Well, if you had to kill one or the other, or else you'd be shot. Um, you, or you, you, I think most people would just let themselves be shot. I would too. <laughs> but I'm saying that you could probably, anybody could kill a baby. It's like killing a house cat. Jeez. Pro it's easier, much easier would to kill a baby stop? than a house cat. I imagine. Stop it. What? What the fuck now? Sell it, store for credits, by the way. Sell that. These are j there's just cash items. Ooh, cartridge rack. Bring this part to the bench to extend the upgrade path and gain access to a special upgrade. Little specials. Please someone play Kane and Lynch again with me. <laughs> I've heard of Kane and Lynch. I don't know if it's well liked or not. I, I basically know nothing about it. That's because your name is Kane. Oh, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> eh, eh, there we go. Are they doing the American way where they put the month first? I think so, yes. That's very annoying. It is. It doesn't really make any sense and it's annoying to read. So this game is American then? Yes. A lot of games are. It's not beloved at I all, but it has redeeming features. I thought a lot of games were Japanese. Yeah, but then there'd be like a... Like, all the enemies would be like girls with very, very, very long dark hair and white robes. No, I said I thought a lot of video games were Japanese. Yeah, that's I what I said. I thought they had a big, big video game. Yeah, that's what I mean. All of the video games with that are Japanese have that as a villain. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so I didn't have that. I'm sure it does at some point. Actually, the enemy design in this is a bit silent, Illy. Less... If they had more thighs. Because Simpson is Japanese, isn't it? Yes. I mean, you can tell they're heavily influenced by Jacob's Twin Ladder. Peaks. Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> yeah. and Woo! Don't know what just happened there. <laughs> cool. Jacob's Ladder is a great movie. Jacob's Ladder is a great movie. I'd recommend it. I tried the demo of it when it came out and it didn't grab me. I might have more patience today. I think I vague. Oh! Oh, I'm just. It's just because I'm stepping on you. Never mind. It's fine. I may as well stomp the body pile. Maybe you have something on you. Although, no, they're probably all just nude. I think if you're in a body bag, you're probably nude, right? Lockdown overridden. It's the eat out to help out scheme. <laughs> That was a terrible joke. <laughs> that was barely a joke. It had the most interesting online multiplayer idea and no one to play it. <laughs> How do I activate this? Current station medical. Sure, let's go. I would like to go to... The hangar. Sure. <laughs> Bring me to the hangar. No, I feel almost safe on this. Now arriving at flight deck, tram control. Said no one on the subway ever. 
I've never been on the subway. You know, what tube subway? Have I ever been on any sub? I don't. I never rode the tube. I think. And when you were in London, you didn't go on the tube. No. How I did mean, you, I was very young. How did you know. get around? We might have, but I was very young. I don't remember. I don't know if I've ever been on any underground system. Because we don't have one. <laughs> well, no, we're tiny. Oh, please. Yeah, but other like tiny places have underground systems. Like where? I don't know. I think Amsterdam had one. We didn't. Go, we didn't. Central. We didn't go on it anyway. No, I don't think we did. We just took trams everywhere. Trams? What? Trams are fine. Yeah, trams and I. I'd love trams too. Trams are lovely. We do have a tram sort of thing in Dublin. Yes, but outside of Dublin, I would like trams. What's I would it like called? Trams Dublin River. again? It's the Dart. No, the, no. The Lewis. Yeah, the Lewis. Yeah. yeah. They have the Dart as well. Yeah. All the same shit, aren't they? <laughs> no, I think the dart is slightly different. Is it? I don't know. Well, it goes out of the city. I think the Lewis is only in the city. Mm. I've never been on either. What's outside of Dublin? <laughs> the rest of Ireland. <laughs> it's like Emma with Cork. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not. What's outside Cork? Oh, shut up. What, what would you need outside a fucking Cork? I like? never said nothing like that. So Does not... Dublin have a fucking butter museum like? <laughs> Sorry. If you weren't done the Discord, you'll not know. Emma dragged me to a butter museum in Shenzhen. I didn't, in Shenzen, I didn't, uh, I didn't drag him. I said, do you want to go to the butter museum? And he said, okay. How is that? In a way that implied, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why did you want to go to the butter museum? I did not drag. I hate when you say that. <laughs> it's such a sexist trope that making the nagging wife who drags my henpecked husband everywhere. And we're not married. I did not drag you anywhere. You could have left. You could have said no. Stop making me sound like that. You're going to get given out to me. I love you. Stop making me sound like this. <laughs> Emma bullies me. <laughs> <sighs> Butter is nice. Butter is nice, Canaries. I will say, I've never had particularly nice butter outside of Ireland. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> butter. butter in other countries the seems butter. pretty gross. The butter in England was fine. Yeah, well, a lot of that is Irish creameries. <laughs> I don't know. Probably they take an upster. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Oh, it's just a hologram. Never mind, we're fine. Mrs. dragged you there before going out with the lads to pub for a sec. <laughs> Hello. You're a hologram boy. Well, we were going up to Cork City for the day. I have nice butter in my fridge at the moment. It is Kerrygold. <laughs> Kerrygold is very nice butter. <laughs> my, we went up to Cork City, and I just we've been watching Tasting History with Max Miller, a YouTube channel, where this guy cooks recipes from history. Um, like, you know, recipes from Roman times or medieval times or whatever. It's a really nice channel. I'd highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. He's a bit cringe, but he's lovely. <laughs> and he, You hate when I call things cringe. And he... Ha yeah, well, it is a cringy word. Mm. Cringy is a better word than cringe. But anyway. So cringe. So, like, we were watching this guy and he did an episode on butter. And people in the comments were saying, if he ever comes to Cork, because he's been to Ireland before, he's been to Cliffs mm -hmm. They were like, if he ever comes to Cork, he should go to the Butter Museum in Cork City, in Shandon, which is the north half of Cork City. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I've lived in Cork City all my life and I've never gone to the Butter Museum. Let's go to the Butter Museum when we go up to Cork. Just for something different. Just to say we've done it. Yeah. Would you say it was worth it? It was two euros for two people. <laughs> for students, it was two euros. We saw thousand-year-old bog butter, everyone. Yeah, wasn't it worth it? <laughs> we saw a butter box turned into a toilet. Oh, buttering Drea up first. Oh, Christ. Well, I did not drag you. I want you to apologise. I'm sorry. Did you, were you dragged? I'd like to say no, for the record. Emma's not forcing me. I have my own free will. <sighs> <laughs> I love you. You're in trouble. <laughs> I, did I drag you to the Butter Museum? I have my own free will. Emma would like me to say that to you. <laughs> Emma will get angry and hurt me otherwise. <laughs> Apologize. I'm sorry, I love you. I'm so mad. I actually want a big apology. <laughs> I suggested it, you said yes. Yeah, I did. It's such a sexist troll. <laughs> making me sound like the you know, like you're the head and cracked husband. Like I'm Mrs. Tweedy from Chicken Chicken mm -hmm. Run. I hate that troll. 
by the way, the Butter Museum was completely fine. I, <laughs> I would love... not particularly recommend it, but it was a way to kill 30 minutes. I love that you have a Butter Museum. I love weirdly <laughs> specific museums. I don't think we have any here, just general ones. <laughs> I like weirdly specific museums too. I mean, I've not really gone to one that was really great yet. Yeah. Like when we were in Amsterdam, we went to the sex workers museum, which I was really, which I was really, which I was really looking forward to because I thought that'd be really interesting. But it was just sort of tacky and touristy. It didn't tell you anything about sex workers. It was just sort of tacky. Am I about to fight some boys? It clearly was made for like people, lads, and a stag. Yes. Lads, lads, lads. Lads, lads, lads. I, I, I. Get your tits out for the lads. <laughs> Chapter 2, Intensive Care Completed. There's a very yeah, niche museum in my... Is that country or county? County, is it? Mm -hmm. The Drainage Engine Museum. What con Are you in Ireland? What county is that? One day I want to go to the Penis Museum in Iceland. <laughs> That's meant to be quite good. Isn't the Vagina Museum as well? That closed down briefly and then reopened in London. Meanwhile, Paris has Wine Museum. <laughs> Qua? <laughs> There. No, I'm in East Anglia. My dad grew up there. That's Norfolk, isn't it? That's Norfolk, East Anglia. I don't know where well, anything in England is. Well, he grew up in East Anglia, I think, if that's Norfolk. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Vagina Museum, too. I think the Vagina Museum is less successful than the Penis Museum. Sexism. Yes, I'm nearish to Norfolk. Well, I don't think my dad... My dad grew up, like, in the bog end of nowhere in the countryside, so is that actually Norfolk? Oh, it's a baby! Like, is Norfolk a town or a city? I didn't talk to my dad, all right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he was not a good dad. I don't know intimately the details of his past. Where the fuck am I going? Why didn't you squish the baby? Well, it's, a, it's not hurting me right now. And also, it's, I don't really want to fight in zero. It's probably, it get, it's probably going to get bigger. What the fuck is this shit? It's probably going to get bigger and come uh, back. Zed land? Where the fuck am I meant to go now? I'm going to run out of fucking stuff. I'm gonna run out of O2 in a second. Do I need to go down this way? I wonder what the gift shops have. At the Penis Museum or the Vagina Museum? <laughs> At the Butcher Museum? There wasn't really much of a gift shop out there. No. It was just sort of books. I was sort of disappointed. I wasn't really expecting it, but I thought it'd be kind of nice if they gave you sandwiches with the butter. I thought it'd be nice if they gave you sandwiches with the butter. Because, like, we, we, we went to another specific museum. We went to the Cadbury Museum in Birmingham, didn't we? Yeah, that was fun. And it? in the Cadbury Museum, they gave you chocolate. So I was kind of hoping that this butter museum would give us some buttered sandwiches. <laughs> Kane was saying this to me. Is this true now? I have to ask you people here. <laughs> Kane was saying to me that buttering your sandwiches is a thing only in Britain and Ireland. That I don't think it's as much of a thing anywhere else. That Americans and Canadians and Europeans and Aussies and New Zealanders don't butter their bread. They only butter their toast. They don't butter their sandwiches. Surely that can't be true. When you make Surely, lads, you're not all having... Say, Let me I'm going to describe it. Can I just finish, please? Surely, lads, you're not making sandwiches, ham sandwiches without butter. That would be disgusting. I think a lot of them use mayonnaise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you make a sandwich here, you butter both sides of the bread. Yeah. Yeah, they slather mayo instead of butter. Yeah, you obviously butter both sides of the bread, and then you put your ham in. It is divine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think their butter is just shit. What? Liquid cheese or mayo. What did yeah, you say? There we go. It's because their butter is shit. Whose butter is shit? Americans, especially. The rest of the world's butter is shit. I, they're not as good. You Germans have a, Bavaria is full of cows. Surely yeah, you can make but butter like from them. Strange German cows. Bavarian cows. Yeah. <laughs> Silas is butter. I slather mayo between the bread. Oh. Australians do butter good. Emma, we have a chocolate museum in Hamburg. If we, if you ever come, we should go. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bone museum in Australia. Very goth. Ah. I want to go to the witchcraft museum in England. But apparently it's only accessible if you have a car. I'm not going to rent a car in England. People would die. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to go to the donkey sanctuary here. Mm -hmm. But we, you yeah, can only get only there if you... Yeah, that's car. Which is a shame because I really want to see the donkeys. Donkeys are lovely. They are so lovely. Everyone loves donkeys. Okay, angry music is We do have butter. Around. The ads say the Irish bush is superior because of the nice green grass. And that's all the info. Don't I have. you have nice green grass in Germany? There was a weird taxidermy museum in Perth. Oh, that sounds interesting. <laughs> I guess Madame to Swords is is that the right word? Swords. Swords. That's like that's kind of a u unusual museum. Yeah, but there's like many of them around. I've never like, actually gone to one. Like a chain. I've basically. never gone to one. 
Neither have I. I'm not interested. When we were in Amsterdam, we went to an interesting museum. What was that one called? Do you know the one that was about body? The body works. That was cool. That was kind of creepy. You found it very unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> Describe it for the people. Because I don't know how to put it into words. It's like plasticization or whatever it's called. Of, of, of real human... Of, of human boys. Like they had donated their bodies. They hadn't just like dug up bodies from the graveyard and done it. Well, I hope not. <laughs> Body Works? No, that's Bath and Body Works. Body Works Museum, <laughs> is that what it's called? Yeah, this thing. They, like, uh, basically do a weird sort of plastic preservation of the human body and then pose them. It's weird, but I liked it a lot. So you can just see, like, the musculature and skeletons and weird veins and, you know, all the weird fucked up meat that's in us. It's cool. There was, like, uh, you know, two people having sex preserved and sort of well, no, all of the just put in stuff that position. in them. Yeah. They weren't sort of like, actually... Look what it looks like. They when weren't you, having sex when they died. When you <laughs> chop a person in half and then like look what it looks like on a side angle when they're having sex. It's it was, a weird time. It's it was cool. interesting. But it was, I liked it. It was, it was a bit icky knowing it was real bodies. <laughs> it was cool. I liked it. I, I enjoyed wandering around and going, that's weird. We went in Amsterdam, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. That, was, that was fun. I'd recommend that. <coughs> We're famous for our grass, are we? Is I don't that... know. Well, I know that Amer... whenever I meet an American tourist in Ireland, they're always like, everything's so green. And I'm like, is it burned in your country? <laughs> but like, when I have gone to other countries, and I've not been to many countries, I've only been to a couple of European countries, and Britain, whatever Britain wants to call it. So. <laughs> like, you know, the grass in mainland Europe is sort of brown. It's like, it must be much hotter over there. Mm. It was brown in Spain. I mean, I know we were in we the south We were, Spain. briefly, before... <laughs> And I don't mean to sound like a stereotype. Before the English ruined it, we were kind of a weird rainforest kind of climate. Surgeon's Hall. Lush. Surgeon's Hall in Edinburgh has the half heads. On it's set cool. Me. I like it. I'd like to I'd go love to, to go to the Body Works one. I would recommend it. It's very fun. Yeah, it was interesting. Though my favourite museum that we went to in Amsterdam was the the Jewish Museum. Yes, I like that. The Jewish Museum of Amsterdam. Is the Jewish really Museum and the. Uh, synagogue that was cool i liked wandering around well that there. wasn't that was a working synagogue yes, it it's was. just in like on whatever days they don't have a service tourists can pay to go and look at it which i assume helps maintain the synagogue i assume so i don't know how large amsterdam's Jew or had dutch jewish community i'm assuming it's quite small i had to wear a little hat because it was decimated in world war ii there was actually quite a lot of jews in the netherlands but you know they were <laughs> yeah that happened engineering <laughs> Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple reporting. What is the little hat called again? A yarmulke? Yes. I think there's a few names for it. Yeah, when we went into the synagogue. Not in the museum, right? It was in the synagogue. He wore a little hat. We thought the rioting was the worst of it. Until those things came through the vents. Their faces. Fuck, those were my lunch buddies. Liz's friends. Old boyfriends. And out of nowhere, the engines are screwed. Primaries laboring, we're hemorrhaging fuel. Fuck if I know why. I'm taking Danvers to the fuel depot to fix it. Gotta keep the team focused Carol. or we'll crack. Temple out. I made a Marvel reference, everybody. The synagogue we went to was called... Oh, it was not Ashkenazi. What was the... I, I can or never say called. that. I can't remember. The Jewish <laughs> people that came, originate from Spain and Portugal. Mm -hmm. I'm doing an autopsy experience this weekend. So excited. That sounds so cool. Are you, like, training to be a doctor or...? <laughs> Maybe they just like cutting people up. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Holocaust <laughs> Museum in Washington is very good. Oh, if, I, that is meant to be really good, the Holocaust Museum in Washington. Have you been to America? That must be a long flight. Although it's so much after the first few hours, you start to rush through the rooms in a day. Berlin's Holocaust Museum. Well, I think, no, it's not the Holocaust Museum. Berlin, Berlin's Jewish Museum is meant to be very good. But we didn't go there when I went to Berlin. Oh, good. Everything's fucked. Seeing you in the control room. Any news on the engines? All yeah, fucked. But it makes no sense. They're out of fuel. The centrifuge is offline. We're tethered to a four trillion ton payload. Without the engines, it's dragging us down to the planet. Can you handle it alone? Probably sure. not. <laughs> Just the centrifuge, get the fuel running, then do a full restart. But you'll need the stabilizer orbit from there. Standing by. Fast as you can, Isaac. Oh, fuck off. I'm under enough pressure. The I'm world, surrounded by babies. The World Peace Museum in Hiroshima was fantastic. Or is it Hiroshima? I don't know. <laughs> I think one is what the Americans say and one is what the Brits say. I don't know what the well, actual what do one the is. the Japanese Yeah, say? exactly. Well, I don't know if I can pronounce what the Japanese say. We can watch and then do buy organs to dissect ourselves. That sounds so cool. I like that. That sounds very fun. 
It's like doing a like a dissection, but not as morally weird. <laughs> a dissection's not weird if the person who died consented to it. Yeah, but I'm thinking about like when you do it to animals oh, in secondary yeah, yeah. school. I never had to do this. We had to dissect a sheep heart. That's all I remember. I don't think we did anything else. Generally, that is so fantastic. I'm interested in these things, but I've never been good at anything science-related, so I wouldn't even even get into that ever. Auschwitz was one of the best museums I've ever gone to. Mm -hmm. And that is count it's, it's called a museum. Mm -hmm. That was fantastic. I'd like to go back, if that doesn't sound weird. <laughs> <laughs> Selfies at Auschwitz. What? <laughs> Selfies at Auschwitz. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm saying. But some people probably do. Oh, yeah, they do, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't see anyone doing it when I was there, but mm -hmm. I've seen, you know, I've seen articles about people doing it. Mm -hmm. Especially on the, you know, the famous shot of the train tracks. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I said shot. But you, you've seen <laughs> the photographs of the train tracks that go that go into Birkenau. Mm -hmm. Everyone's seen that. Mm -hmm. But people like to go in there and take selfies. But I, I didn't God. see anyone doing that. <laughs> it oh, is my a, God. A ripper? Absolutely, it thank is you. A, it is a very weird feeling going Melee in. weapon. Oh, cool. <laughs> They're doing like a, you found a cool thing. It is a really music. weird feeling going into Birkenau. Because going into Auschwitz 1, that kind of, that much more looks like a museum. It doesn't really look like how it looked back then. Mm -hmm. But Birkenau is basically just abandoned. Well, it's not about you know what I mean? It's not really been Reaper. changed much. So when I walked into there, and also we went there very early in the morning, so no one else had turned up yet. So it was actually empty. It was just me and my mom in Birkenau mm -hmm. in this huge empty space and it was very cold. And, for, it, you know, I'd seen it so many times in movies like Schindler's List or whatever. So for a second it's like, wow, this is actually real. I'm actually here. This isn't a movie. It was a very, very strange feeling. And my mom, we kind of had a tiff. She didn't really want to be there at all. I wouldn't have minded if she just stayed at the hotel. I won't be well, anyway, my mom went the other direction, and, oh, and I ended. Oh my god! What's wrong? It's actually an, an a levitating blade. <laughs> so my mom went one direction, and I went the other direction. So I was alone for ages, and no one else was around. It was a very surreal experience. I will say, this is basically just Half Life Two, isn't it? This has. Uh... In, in certain things, because there's obviously a lot of influences in this game that it wears on its sleeve, but this is very... The weapons are extremely Half-Life 2. Like, basically we... taken straight from it. Where else do we go in Amsterdam? We went to the Van... Van Yuk? How to say it again? Van Yuk. If the... any Dutch people are in there, they'll Van... go... <laughs> Van... Van Yuk Museum? Mm -hmm. Vincent Van Gogh? In English. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> That was very crowded and very. It was boiling that day, wasn't it? <laughs> wasn't yes, it? I didn't really like that museum very much. If, yeah, it was a bit commercial. Which I know sounds very pretentious, <laughs> but it was. Well, I mean, considering <laughs> Vincent van Yock's life, mm -hmm. it's just a kind of Plasma ironic. Plasma cutter, graph extended, a new special ability is available. Fantastic. I quit archaeology because it's a terrible career choice, among other reasons. Let me get some suit nodes. I would like more durability, or I think I need to get air first. Really? Stasis energy. Give me some air. Where else do we go in Amsterdam? Stasis on size. We didn't what go to any other museum, did we? I don't think so. Did we? No. We went to the Jewish Museum. Synagogue. Synagogue. Uh, Van Gogh. Van Gogh. We did the sex museum. We did the... Body works. Body works. We did two canal tours. Then two canal tours. And two, two walking, walking tours. tours. I think that might have been it. Oh, we went to the um, botanical gardens. That was that nice. That kind of counts. Yeah, that, that was, was fun nice. just to chill out with. That was basically like just before we were getting the tram yes, to the train. Yes, it was like, what else can we do? <laughs> no, but like we kind of just wanted to relax because we were so tired. <laughs> There was benches there. You could sit down for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Although it was real fucking hot in there. Not in all of it, but in some of it was, yeah. Because they were kind of trying to mimic, like, tropical stuff. Mm -hmm. As an adult, the only stuff I know about Van Gogh was that he met the doctor and it was very sad. <laughs> that made me cry. One of the greatest, very embarrassing One of the greatest TV moments ever. Actually, I agree. A absolutely. I, yeah. I get really embarrassingly, I think I might agree too. I hate that that's true of fucking Doctor Who. Don't you say <laughs> I I also <laughs> cried when I saw that. Oh, I cried as well. It was so sad. <laughs> when he's like spinning around as Bill Nye is 
talking about oh, Van Gogh. Cool, like, oh god. <laughs> it's more afterwards when we found out that it didn't actually. Yes. That was so sad. I know. It was so sad. <laughs> I almost cried just thinking about it. <laughs> I almost do. I'm almost crying now. Swans can be gay. <laughs> Sorry. No, why would that make you cry that swans can be gay? Again, you teared up at the bisexual goose. So did you. Like Nigel, the bisexual goose. I, I only felt so sorry for the bisexual goose because his husband left him for the girl goose. Yeah, and then uh, he, like uh, his adopted chicks got kidnapped or whatever. Did they? Yeah, I think so. It was like bisexual oh, you make, goose. You should make a movie about that. It's like goose falls in love with a boy goose, and they raise chicks together. Yeah, I remember that. Then the they raise like clutches him, of chicks together. The boy goose left him for a girl goose. And. Uh, the bi goose sort of became a thruple, like helped, like co-parented with the the girl goose and the other boy goose, mm -hmm. and then um, or was it a swan? Maybe uh, whatever. And then they went off, and then another goose came in, or a swan, and stole Nigel's remaining babies. Did he get them back? I don't know. Were they all right? Like, were they, was they going to look after them, or are they going to eat them or something? I don't know. Swans don't eat things, meat. Do they? It was just very sad. Hang on. <laughs> Let's get this up. Bisexual goose. No, don't look this up, please. New Zealand goose. How and one... he was blind as well. Oh, yes, he was also blind. So I don't want to know this. <laughs> how a blind bisexual bird became an icon. A memorial is no, being held for a New no, Zealander who spent no, most of his life no. as a loving partner, caring father, and icon of the LGBT community. No, and it's no, a goose. No, no. <laughs> Why? No, let go, <laughs> let go. His name was Thomas. I don't care. And it was two swans. Play the game, I don't care. It was Play two swans. That's nice. who, he fell in love with a swan. Stop that. Okay. I don't want to hear this story. It made me cry the first time. <laughs> he was blind and fell in love with a swan. Stop it. And they raised children Just together. play that, play that. I'll tickle you. <laughs> I love you. I don't want to hear it again. <laughs> It was sad the first it was sad enough the first time. <laughs> he was an icon, they held memorials for him. <laughs> People loved him. Thomas the blind sexual <laughs> goose. Oh fuck off! Oh, me alone. I've had a saw blade now. Oh, That's, you gosh. That's a bit doom, eh? <laughs> yes, this is actually quite doom. There we go. This has a bit of a Doom 3 DNA. Which I never really liked. I don't really like Doom 3. It's going to be dark even though it's only 4. Yeah, well, I think it's past 4. It's probably like half 4 now. 20 past 4. Yeah. Are you going to finish at 5 or? Morning. Yeah, we can go for another few minutes. Well, no, 5 would be Main another half an hour, not another few minutes. We'll see. Next, let's say next save spot. Unless it's like right now, then the next save spot. I think spot. I'm going to order some Chinese. Oh my god. You'd have to be blind. Geese are the least sexy birds ever, am I right? Hello, and Oh, that's what else we did. After the Bush after the Bush Museum, we went back into the centre of Cork City and there was this restaurant called oh, yeah. Tong Sing. Am I saying that right? Yes. And we had never been there before. We went to the other Chinese restaurant. It only has two. It's a small city. Well, probably it has... has more than that. <laughs> well, these are like the two... the one you go to. No, they're the two most popular ones. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think it has more than two Chinese restaurants. I'm sure it does. Cork City has like upwards of 200,000 people in it. <laughs> I don't think it has. There's definitely more than two Chinese I restaurants don't... in Cork there's City. There's Chinese takeaways. <laughs> I don't think there's proper restaurants. I, I would... I'm just gonna say, I would bet my life that it has more. <laughs> I can't think of any. But either way, this was the first one that opened. I can't think of any. And mm -hmm. I've lived in Cork all my life. Yeah, but you only went to a few places, really. What do you mean by like that? Like you had favourite restaurants and you'd basically just go to them. You like routines. Mm, I'm <laughs> pretty not like it's a bad thing at all. I'm looking that up now. Mm -hmm. I'm looking it up. I'll quickly check down here. This is very fucky. I don't know why they would design this place like this. Pull down. I assume that comes later. Between the five people. <laughs> Cork, I, I think Cork City has around 200, 210,000 people. So it, it cannot only have two Chinese restaurants. Oh, these ones don't count. What do you mean they don't count? Not proper restaurants. What do you mean proper restaurants? Like where you sit down. Like, obviously there's like dozens of Chinese takeaways. Mm -hmm. That doesn't count. I'm talking about a nice fancy place. You sit down and you get a little table. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> 210,000 Cork people. Cork's teensy. Like you could walk, you could walk the whole city in probably less than an hour. Yeah. 
But it still has to have more restaurants than that. Although one less now. The whole point of this is that it was closing down and it was yeah. the first Chinese restaurant that We had never been there before. I'd been there before, but I hadn't been there before we came. So I was like, we should go there. It was a very average experience. It was fine. <laughs> and Kane was all like, oh, you should call to book a table because everyone will turn up because it's the last day. And I was like, oh, no, they won't. And everybody and turned obviously up. Obviously so that we happened. Were in, yes. We were in a long queue. Well, if it's, well, so, pop for like if it's so popular, why is it closing down? Yes, I know. Cost of living rent's probably too high. I was surprised that it was so popular because it only has like a 3.5 on Google. I thought <laughs> the I food went, was nice. I thought it was completely fine. You say that about literally every food you eat. I've been to some nice restaurants. That curry place we went to in Spain was delicious. It was probably the best curry I've ever had. That's unlike you, really show great. enthusiasm for food. It had the best naan bread I've ever had. And I know that's like a default thing you get is naan bread. It's like saying, oh, these of, crackers are great. Inhabitants of Cork are called Corkonians. Yes, and that is real. <laughs> what are inhabitants of y'all called? Yawlites, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, they made... Uh, the naan bread with like roast potatoes baked into it in the middle. It was fucking amazing. I loved it. That is not like you to be enthusiastic about food. It was the nicest bread I've ever eaten. Well, naan bread. I that's a, that's bread. really unlike you. Because usually you, every food you eat, you just say, fine. <laughs> well, most of it is fine. People of Las Vegas are called vegan? <laughs> Las Vegans, which is annoying. <laughs> is that what you're from? Corconian sounds ridiculous. It does. Corconians does it? sound ridiculous, but it is the genuine term. Corconians, like. Michael Collins died in Cork Soil and the rest of us went to get. <laughs> Wasn't Michael Collins from Cork? I don't know where Michael Collins was actually from. I think he was. The statues of Michael Collins around Cork, a lot of them. No, I'm an actual vegan. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I think he's from Cork, Michael Collins. The statues of him around the place. He might be. Michael Collins. Irish leader, not the astronaut. <laughs> Wasn't Michael Collins the astronaut on the moon when Neil Armstrong was older? He never set foot on the moon. But okay, yes. well he was in the thing then. Yeah, he was the pilot. Do they call it a pilot when it's a spaceship? Space pilot. <laughs> Whatever, Space I don't pilot. know. <laughs> yep, it says he was from Quarantine Core. Some, some, park, right? some some place called Woodfield in Kill, Kill I can't pronounce that so now how'd you say that Kill Kilmorgan <laughs> there Kill, uh, Kill, Kill Karen Moore County Cork that's right <laughs> astronaut oh whatever yeah but they're all astronauts what's the one who Cosmonaut actually cosmonaut like, is um, the Soviet astronaut what's the like an astronaut is like, what's the one who actually flies the plane? The space are, these, plane, are Russian whatever. astronauts still called cosmonauts? It's a cooler name, I would hope so. It's a way cooler name. What do you call astronauts? A, a group, group of, of astronauts. astronauts. I don't know. Is this some sort of horrific pun? Astro many. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's like how people from the Isle of Lesbos are My, my wife has yelled at me enough now that I'm conditioned to conject the term naan bread since it just means bread, bread. I know Emma also says that. No, and I said tea. that about chai because we were given tea and came said maybe it's chai tea. And I was like, Ch chai just means tea. I'm aware. Yes. Well, I've, I've actually read actual Indian people being annoyed with that. I know. Because they're like, it's just tea. Well, in fairness, it didn't... Oh, God, you spit, you fucking... Rick. In fairness, it did taste different to Irish tea. It was way fucking nicer. <laughs> How dare you? The berries hear you, they'll see you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> fucking Christ! I live in Hamburg. Are you a hamburger? Oh! Alright, that's very true. So you should then for pony? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Sorry, leave me alone. I'm scared. Stomp him. Fuck right off, you stupid bitch. Get his fucking legs off. I hate this gun. This gun is terrible. I blame the gun. More boring than Thorcoco and he's... It is cute. <laughs> but also tastier. <laughs> Isn't Berliner a type of donut as well? So you could also do that one. That's kind of a pun. And Frankfurt is a sausage, isn't it? Yeah, Frankfurters. Named after the city. Mm -hmm. So they are Germany. People mock Germans for their food, but that's quite a lot of famous food. Yeah, but it's all fucking sausages and dense cakes. <laughs> and, the and the hamburger. Everything in Germany is basically just potatoes and sausage, right? It's very similar to Irish cuisine. Yes, but in Berlin, they call them Fankuchen. They are I'm wrong. assuming that's how you pronounce it. 
It's kind of similar to Irish cuisine, really. Yes, it German is. German cuisine. Maybe that's why the Germans like the Irish. That's out done, Chief. Progress report filed by Jacob Temple. The engine problems aren't a malfunction. Someone shut off the fuel lines to the primary That was a decent pronunciation, yes. Hochen. <laughs> we just wasted an hour fixing them. Now we need to restart the south refueling station, but some jackass turned off the power and locked up the circuit breaker. Are you playing no with the pig house? Yes. Like your little phones. <laughs> What's There's now? a little wooden pig house under the desk. <laughs> it's not just for guinea pigs. Hamsters could use it too. Would you oh. do that? Never go. The guinea pigs like to sit on top of it rather than in it. Occasionally I'll just look under and one pig will be like pulling at my foot nails and then the other pig will just be like sitting watching. Why so many Germans named after yummy food is a hungry shark shortco. <laughs> Security card required. Security card where are we going? Hang on. I, I, without this mechanic, by the way, I would be completely lost. I love this mechanic. I will say this. Polish Polish Ooh. pastries and cakes were fucking amazing. If you like cakes and pastries, like I do, go to Poland. They're cheap as fuck if you're from Western Europe. <laughs> you can live like and a they king. And they taste so fucking good. Shoot the There we go. Lovely. I'm saving the Ripper for something big. <laughs> Sadly, Vor is not my king, but I'm sure we can work out some sort of compromise. I'm all right, Nobel. How are you? <laughs> you have a nice Christmas and New Year's? Did everybody have a nice Christmas and New Year's? Did anybody care? <sighs> Sorry, but did they? Did anybody give a fuck about Christmas this year? The goat got destroyed. French food was good. The big goat. Oh, Jesus. Who are you? She's probably a zombie now. Remember, she was she ran away earlier. Oh, you! Hiya. Oh, yeah. After the bridge, we thought that... Glad to disappoint. I barricaded myself in the computer core. I can hear them, but I don't think they know I'm here. Isaac, I've tracked down your rig. You're an engineer, right? I'll get I don't think you should trust her. She's clearly an alien. Or mm -hmm. not an alien, zombie, whatever. I wonder if people taste different based on where they are. And I don't mean in like a disgusting Sean Connery way. You mean people cannibals? Yeah, like cannibalism. Like, does a German taste like uh, more of sausages or something? Well, a vegan probably don't tastes. Taste, a vegan taste probably tastes. Full of quite, chocolate. A vegan probably tastes quite different to a meat eater. Maybe, yeah. You have to ask Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> like, if. Again, this is why we should let Armin Muez loose. Oh, for God. loose. Can we not, like, can we not just. <laughs> Sorry. It but, like, we look, should get. Look, look, designate somebody to check. Look. <laughs> like, I don't. <laughs> I don't care, like, if the man consented to being murdered and eaten. <laughs> you can't consent to being murdered. Then why do you eat meat? Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. But you walked into it. Humans a and bit. animals are not the same. Bit. You walked into it a little bit. Go back into there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Another avenue is reference. <laughs> you can't consent to murder. That is why he is in prison. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Christmas was pretty good. I got a nice blanket and a communist manifesto. <laughs> New Year's was also fun. Played lots of video games. Communist manifesto is an interesting present for Christmas. The most commercial of holidays. Mm. <laughs> Quote 11. I'm sure babies taste tender and nice. You'd probably want like a... <laughs> like when do they kill cows? Like seven? Probably more. Like three? It's like um... It's like chickens, they only live like 20% of their, like once they get full grown and maximum tenderness. So you'd probably want to, maybe an eight year old? Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck? Could you stop now? <laughs> okay, sorry. Jesus. <laughs> I just wanted to see your reaction to be honest. What time? Oh god, I need to power this shit up. What time is it in Canada? I have no idea. I'm asking them then. How do I power this up? Where's the power? Okay, there's the cable. I need to follow this back somewhere. It's Excuse very me. dark, but I assume that's, you know, how it's meant to be. <laughs> Down here. Oh my god. Yeah, French French there. food was nice. Dutch food is not nice. Oh, Dutch food sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Every person we talked to was like, don't eat at a Dutch restaurant, go to like Indian. <laughs> Indonesian. Yeah, Indonesian. Because that's the country they colonized. Mm -hmm. So they'll have a lot more Indonesian restaurants than have Britain has Indian restaurants. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sure they do have Indian restaurants, but <laughs> we were specifically recommended Indonesian mm -hmm. restaurants. B quote 418, bulky ripped shark women. <laughs> I don't remember saying that, but sure. Let's close down that one and go over to this one. It's 11.33 a.m. in Ontario. It's nearly five o'clock in the evening here. Time zones are weird. You like them. I find them very strange. <laughs> Oh, I hate that you have to fucking turn off the lights. Polish food is anything. good. Well, I didn't really eat. Oh. I mean, I didn't really God. eat any food that was specifically Polish, like for dinner. I, I ate a lot of cakes. I did eat. <laughs> I did eat like dinner, but I'm sure I don't think it would be Polish because I usually just eat meat and potatoes. Yeah, that's definitely difficult. Stamp them. So, but I did eat a lot of Polish cakes. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus Christ! Christ. You scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> well, usually the cat you scare. didn't scare me. <laughs> usually you, you're the one scaring me. You want attention again, <laughs> my sweet girl? My sweet little baby girl? You want attention? <laughs> scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Pull it down. Pull it down. There we go. Refuel engine south. Done. Refueling sequence activated. Additional fuel required for engine restart. Dutch Indian restaurants are strange Very in the sense busy. that they don't resemble anything like British Indian restaurants, even though most British Indian restaurants are actually Bangladeshi. But Indonesian is very nice and spicy. Had some over New Year's. Oh, I, it's baby! I would okay. I wouldn't like spice. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, space. Is we have lots of time. Oh, Jesus Christ! Fucking Kate. don't spit, you stupid thing! <laughs> Stomp them. Just run out for a second. I'm Come here, scared. baby. <laughs> yeah. Come to me. Shoot the tentacles off. <gasps> Okay, he's gonna go sideways. Is there another one just there? Shoot him! Shoot any tentacle you see. Is that both of them dead? Oh, I still hear another one. Where are you? Yeah, I have a cat. Fuck is it? Oh, it's right there! It's a speaker! Oh my Christ! Heal! Yeah, big countries are Heal! Big countries are weird because they have multiple time zones, like Canada and China and Russia and the USA. I mean, that's really weird, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I assume India too has different time zones. I forgot Australia? how to do stasis, by the way. So Aus that's not helping. Australia has different time zones, isn't it? Yes, I think so. Vietnamese, Any of the big O's. Vietnamese food is fantastic. If anyone ever has the chance to get one, do it. Trust me. A what? Is A bonze. Banziao, I don't know how to pronounce anything in Vietnamese. Ganarius, that's incredibly fair. Uh, I am really hungry now. Me too. I'm definitely going to order some Chinese. I love you. I will probably do it as well and get some salt and chili chips, which is the default thing I get, and I, I can feel it killing me. What did I get in the Chinese <laughs> restaurant that we went to in Cork? Chicken uh, chow, chow mein. I might get that again. What's the other one I like? Chicken chop suey? Oh. Yes, gorgeous. Salt and chili chips, you mean the spice bag? No! Spice bags usually has chicken in it, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Spice bags aren't as big of a thing down south as they are in Dublin. Dublin? They're huge in Dublin. Huge in Dublin. You can get them. Down south of the river. <laughs> <laughs> but like, not as big outside of Dub Dublin. <laughs> Jackins. Jackins. Skangers, like. <laughs> no, Skangers is universal. Yeah, like Skangers is the Irish equivalent of Chav, which is a snobby word. I've you shouldn't really say it. heard it more applied in Dublin. I rarely hear people say it in Cork. Skangers, like. <laughs> well, the one that's usually used is the ethnic slur. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck is a spice bag? A spice bag is very specific. I don't know it? what it is either. Because I don't, bag. I don't like spice. I can I can barely, my mouth can barely handle curry. Never mind spice. A spice bag is a fast food dish popular in uh, most. most of Ireland and inspired by Chinese cuisine. It does look Dishes like salt most commonly and chili sold chips. in Chinese takeaways in Ireland. It's similar. Typically, a spice bag consists of deep fried salt and chili chips, then salt and chili chicken, usually uh, shredded but occasionally balls or wings, red and green peppers, sliced chili peppers, fried onions, and a variety of spices. It's a spice bag. It's in the same family, I would say, as a, uh, a salt and chili And chips. yet the far right is on the rise in Ireland. <laughs> it's dreadful, like. I used to feel sort of, maybe smog is going too far, but when I read about, like, the US or mainland Europe, 
or Britain and all the problems they were having with the far right. I felt a little smug maybe because I was like, we don't have that here. Mm. And oh my God, now we have it here mm. in a big way. Mm. Like there, there's almost daily now of these buildings being... <laughs> Just lots of arson. Yeah, these buildings... Arson around. These buildings that are abandoned, that are being designated for, <laughs> for hostels, for refugees. Racists are like setting them on fire. And that's happening all the time now. Mm-hmm. And no one's been arrested, surprise, surprise. Why don't cops do anything about it? <laughs> well, cops put away their Molotovs. Yeah, fucking crazy. <laughs> so yeah, there's very oh, little mm. to feel smug about being Irish anymore. Mm. So we've lost all the sort of moral high ground. We suck, basically. Yes. And our eviction rate. I found this out recently when I was reading an article. During the Irish famine, you know, when they were evicting loads of people because they couldn't pay because they had no potatoes to sell. Like, it was some, it was some, it would, the eviction rate was something like 31%. It's now 61% in modern mm-hmm. Ireland. No fault evictions. I mean, no, Ireland's a terrible country. Don't come here. Don't come here. It's a shithole. <laughs> Them landlords can evict you whenever they want. They have so much power. The healthcare system is shockingly okay, bad. Only a quarter full, Don't come to Ireland. I still need to get the centrifuge working before Unless you're rich, but if you're rich, Someone anywhere is nice to live. Fuel lines. Move fast, like Isaac. you could probably live in, damn close I don't know. Out there. Somalia is considered one of the worst countries to live in, but if you're a millionaire, you'd probably be fine in mm. Somalia. No, it's true, like, if you're a millionaire, everywhere's fine. <laughs> because you're protected. Oh, there's somebody behind me! Kane! Shut up, leave me alone, I'm scared. Sadly, sadly, Canada is seeing a rise in the far right, and we literally had a new Nazi party get 5% of the vote after election. Yeah, a lot of the world is going very far right. Mm-hmm. That Brazilian guy was voted yeah. out. What was his name again? The real far right one? I can't remember. You remember, you know him talking Bolsonaro? Yeah, he was voted out recently, wasn't he? Yeah, now he has more time to be sick in hospital beds. <laughs> India has a pretty right-wing leader. Modi? Yeah, he's very... He's Bloody Jordan Peterson. That's the first thing my mind jumped to with right-wing com- uh, Canadian as well. He'll be delighted that you think of him. <laughs> he will be delighted. Mm. Do you just like... I'm relevant. Those woke moralists haven't destroyed me here. Yeah, it's like, it's interesting. It's like when you parody something, you make it relevant. Mm-hmm. It's a bird boy! Oh, it's kind of cute! I'm out! <laughs> The person most likely to win our next Canadian election wants to get rid of all our social safety. Yeah. The whole world I'm gonna is, die. The whole world is taking the very obviously sarcastic Hitler to point bit too far. <laughs> Only explanation for the rise of the far right. Well I think it's cause to get all like political it's usually the far Keep right politics out of streaming. <laughs> the far right usually rises when there's been a massive economic downturn. Mm-hmm. So that's usually what happens. My usually. brother likes him? Oh, Racist Kermit. <laughs> you know, I think he, he's definitely racist, but he's more transphobic than he's racist. Mm. He's all, he's a, a cocktail of those things. <laughs> Not sure you saw Emma, but my wife has ha, loves Max Miller and has his cookbook. Oh, I've been thinking about getting the cookbook. Cook. <laughs> I love you. I could try. Oh. You can if you like. Maybe I. Maybe, kind of maybe since I, I drag you to places apparently, maybe I could make you make me things. Emma. <laughs> Right, I'm saving and we can finish there. No, let's finish at five. No. Because I'm enjoying talking to the people. Okay, fine. We'll go until the next... Well, as a compromise, we'll five go until o'clock. I find the next one. Five o'clock. Next one. That's only 20 minutes. Next one. That's only 20 minutes. Well, I'm spooked. So next one we find. Next save spot, we'll save. <laughs> she veganized... Yes, Emma, wait to go back to that, my queen. Thank you, Gilbert. <laughs> she veganized some of the recipes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I've been noticing that old-fashioned recipes are very meat heavy if max miller is accurate mm-hmm. very meat heavy emma is talking to the people let her stop and speak and stop oppressing oh my god the cat's here again oh this is a lift i was wondering why i wasn't able to get through here hello cat <laughs> put her back in my lap meow no give me back my baby give her stop it let go of her she needs to be reminded that she's small come here baby girl <laughs> ow, ow. At least Emma appreciates us. How oh. fucking long is this lift? She won't stay in my right lap. Right back on oh, my keyboard. She, she's gunning. Well, she's, she's climbing down. 
Jerry can leave when he needs. <laughs> just be Emma chatting to stream. <laughs> I usually, I've never really liked cooking shows. Max Miller has really changed. I'm trying to think. I think of, it's probably my favorite cooking show. I, I don't really like cooking shows either. I know. I'm trying to think of a less melodramatic way of saying he has, hasn't changed my life, <laughs> changed my perspective. Mm -hmm. You know how English is kind of a shit language? Mm -hmm. Well, no, English isn't a shit language, but you know, I read this really interesting article once. The Japanese have words to some of very specific things, and one of them meant sort of like being nostalgic on a beach thinking of your childhood, and the Japanese had one word for that. Mm -hmm. But you know, that takes... Yeah, but it's probably like German, where they just have like fucking ridiculously long con compound words. Yeah. Like it'll be like 14 syllables long, yeah, like yeah. a Welsh. Yeah, I know, like, but in English it takes <laughs> ages to describe those things, where the other language is just a one word. Oh, it's word. such an elegant language. It has words for, like, feeling nostalgic on a beach, and it's called feeling us n nostalgic and on beach and... No, I'm talking about Jap <laughs> that was Japanese. I know, but I'm just saying it might be the same shit. <laughs> Japanese does have portmanteau words like German. <laughs> But yeah, so Max Miller, yeah, I think that's a better way to say it. Just change my perspective, because life would be too melodramatic. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it's not... Would you enraged. shut up? I can read too. But like, change my perspective seems almost understating it, because it's a big change. Because I've always like disliked cooking shows. I've always disliked them. I've always found them boring and that they just make me hungry. But watching Max Miller, I really like... Now, it's because pro... it's he does history as well. Yes. If it was literally just cooking, mm -hmm. I'd have no interest because I love history. You like the history parts more, definitely. But I do actually enjoy... But he is trying... He isn't just randomly going, oh, I'll talk to you about the history of, I don't know, the Netherlands in the 1950s while I make soup. Like, he, the, it's food history. Mm -hmm. The history is tied in with the food, mm -hmm. which I was surprised by. I didn't think I'd be interested in that. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not, I love to eat food, but I'm not a foodie. You know, people who are interested in the culture of food and the history of food. Mm -hmm. But he's really changed my mind. I'm really enjoying learning about the history of food. Because mm -hmm. usually, when it, you know, when you know, you see foodies going, oh, the different tastes and the, the flavors, I would roll my eyes. <laughs> but I'm not doing that now with Max Miller. Mm -hmm. Think of making garum then the fucking horrible fish sauce. Although fish sauce is nice. Never mind. I get bored when watch when Jay's watching Max Miller. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like Max Miller. I I sometimes find it a little dull. Sometimes it he depends used, on the subject. He used to the butter one was dull. <laughs> the one that inspired me to go to the butter museum. <laughs> More absences. It's not just the unitologist sneaking off for religious exemptions or whatever. We're seeing serious gaps in the rotation. People going on sick with sleep deprivation self-inflicted injuries are just disappearing they go off shift and don't come back someone said the ship's been attacked bullshit we're at the ass end of nowhere who'd come all this way to attack a mining he ship. actually has three cute cats mm -hmm. he has cats milo ollie and uh cersei he had another cat called jamie but he died you know jamie and cersei He's such a fucking cringe nerd because <laughs> you're so cool i mean you're Jesus. james you're james dean yeah but he's got like sort of He's got kind of theatre kid energy as well. Was the problem? Well, he d he was a theatre kid. Yeah, he was. I looked him up, and he has like a Broadway history. And he worked on Disney Cruise Ships. Yeah, and I was like, "Yep, yeah, that explains." <laughs> and his husband Jose Mendoza. Is that how you say it? When it's I think it no, is it Jose? Well. Jose? I think it's Jose. Jose. Yeah. His, Jose. <laughs> his husband's Mexican, so I think that's how you say it. Mm -hmm. And his husband's mad. His husband's mad into Pokemon, and they have a little Pokemon plushie in the background of every video. I'm gonna upgrade the Ripper just for when it happens. He looks very polished. He does. He looks very well, shiny. Well, that's Americans for you. Bright they eyed. That's Americans sort of look like that. <laughs> they do. Though. He looks like he's been lacquered a little bit. Americans are very put together. Americans on TV anyway. I was watching a bit of Shameless the other day. Not the Americans. The American one, though, right? Not the Americans I know. Well, you, are you actually American? <laughs> but I was watching a bit of American Shameless because I never got into the British Shameless. So I. I very much dislike but the American show. Shameless was actually really good and he made Macy's in it and it was like he's the main character well he plays the dad like. mm -hmm. and um, it was like oh my god it's actually showing real people it was, <laughs> it's like it's like New Hollywood me and Kane in the last couple of years we've gotten into New Hollywood which if you don't know is like this American movie movement in the 60s and 70s yeah late 60s and 70s where they made more realistic movies and that led to the rise of directors like Martin Scorsese Taxi Driver is a really good example so, like, if you watch Taxi Driver, there's no glamorization in that. 
Mm-hmm. Like, nobody looks like a sexy Hollywoodized American in that. Mm-hmm. Everyone just looks like a real person. It's got Jeremy Allen White, who's good in The Bear. I've been meaning to watch The Bear at some oh, point. I don't want I to might. watch it. Why? I watched a video I see about it, and it just looks so sad and panicky. <laughs> like, I had no idea, because I look at watching this video, I had no idea how toxic it is to be a chef. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a trope. Apparently the, the trope is that they're all alcoholics and chain smokers. Uh, but apparently the suicide rate for chefs yeah, is really it's high. Real fucking high. <laughs> and Max Miller talks about that. He's not a professional chef. But he talks about when he worked in the Disney cruise ships and he obviously worked in the kitchen, but he wasn't a chef. I guess maybe a, su- a sous chef, is that what you call it? He said that chefs have terrible, terrible lives. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh my God. Because <laughs> I love going, uh, Kane will tell you, I fucking love going to restaurants. I find mm-hmm. it so relaxing. But how can I find it relaxing if all that horrible stuff is happening just, mm-hmm. just over there? Mm-hmm. Whenever I hear the bear, I at first think of the Revenant. I am shocked it's not Baldur's They keep Gate. winning drama awards, even though it's a dramedy. Yeah, I saw comedy awards, even though it's a dramedy. I saw that's a thing that they always. I do, saw though. that it won best comedy at the Golden Globes, and I was like, that video did not make it look funny. <laughs> that looked like the most depressing show ever. That looked like I mean, it looked funny in the same way that Sopranos is funny. Sopranos is funny, but it's mostly depressing. You know what? Depressingly, I don't think they're here right now. But depressingly, when I think of Bear, I think of Sembal now. <laughs> Down and out in Paris and London, and Orwell talking about working in French kitchens sounded awful. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Is it awful to be a chef to the job in Woo! Pain. Oh, it's fucking snappy food. I'm not, I'm not quite sure, is it awful to be a chef because that's just the way it is? Or is it awful to be a chef because of a toxic work culture? Like, is it like that there's a lot of bullying? Or is it just the job itself is stressful? It's not how many nice people. Well, TV chefs are awful bullies. Like that fucking cunt, Gordon Ramsay. Can I say that word? Yes, you can. Oh, I just, said, I just said that word. <laughs> Get fucking locked off, you nerd. Any more? Yep. Ouch! Fucking shoot him! Oh god! I am so fucking hurt. There we go. You're the lovely white dead. She's got a crack on her. Yes, I'm aware. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not I my fault. I didn't say it was. It's not my fault she loves me. Oh. There we go, nice and easy. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, the bear looks really depressing. I don't know how that one best comedy. That did not look funny at all. I think it's both. I think it's one of those inherited things in the workplace through hazing. I was treated like shit, so I treated like shit in turn. Mm. Chef tell me that it's high pressure, hot bad hours, sometimes questionable job security, depending on where you work. Yeah, restaurants never going to seem quite as relaxing again. Because I've always found restaurants really relaxing. I've never really been into restaurants. It's not that much. Oh, I love going out to restaurants. I, know. I just love them. If I could, if I was like Jeff Bezos or whatever, I would literally just eat at restaurants every single day of my life. I would never cook. I would just go to restaurants. Oh, that'd be lovely. Nice <laughs> I am neutral on restaurants. I think they're absolutely fine, but I don't really seek them out. Jay used to be a mar- bar manager and they served food, so worked with chefs. My mum was a waitress. Actually, my mum was a waitress at the Chinese restaurant, Tung Sing. very stereotypical, by the way. Australians working at a bar. <laughs> my mum my my w- was a waitress at Tung Sing, the, ch- the restaurant that just closed down in mm-hmm. Cook City, the Chinese restaurant. She's, and she was a waitress in other places too throughout my childhood. She said being a waitress is awful. Mm. You don't get paid very much. And she always said the chefs were mean. Like, if the customer says, you've, you've given me the wrong thing, like, I don't know, I ordered chili and you've given me lasagna, and you bring it back to the chef, the chef will give you a lot of shit. So waitressing is apparently not a... Or, what, is there a gender-neutral word for wait, waiter, I suppose? Waiter. Well, my mom was always called a waitress. By yeah, her. but I feel like that's dying out a little bit. Well, this was... Like, I, I, I hear am, less people... I am getting old, as you say. <laughs> but I feel like people are using less, like, waitress <laughs> or actress and oh, stuff like that. Hello, baby. She just jumped up in my lap and fight me. <laughs> well, she didn't jump Wait, up. Steph, that's a thing. It's just more text. I'm not going to bother reading that. It <laughs> didn't seem important. I've gone to restaurants, so if things are really busy, I'll look at the menu and be, what would be the least difficult thing for them to make? I know. <laughs> well, it was like that when we went to the closing down thing. Yeah, because everyone had turned up because it was closing down. Yeah. It was very busy. 
What's wrong, baby? She's crying again. Here's the save station. Here's where we'll end. Well, it's fine now, because it's, use... it's 1653. Mm -hmm. I use the gender neutral term servant. I thought we, I thought posh people called them the help today. The help. No, I think that's very old fashioned as well. I think servant is like Victorian and Edwardian. I think the help is like the 50s or 40s. Well, what do you say now? Then? I think it's like staff. Oh, <laughs> like, I don't know if you say the help anymore. You say the staff. I think that might be from like To Kill a Mockingbird <laughs> rather than now. I said servants in To Kill a Mockingbird, didn't I? Did they? I don't think so. I said the help. So now they say the staff. I think so, yes. You can see I have one game installed on the fucking EA app because oh, who the no. fuck uses the my EA baby. app? My baby. I have this game through, um, what's it called? Personnel. <laughs> I'm old fashioned. Um, my baby is back. My little cat. Oh, you God, you've got cat hair everywhere. I know. It's a thing. <laughs> You're going to have to start brushing your hair. Or fur. You brush your fucking hair? Fur. You brush your hair? I don't fur. I don't want the hairbrush is right there. You brush her fur. You I, brush it right I now. I have asthma problems. I don't care. It's your cash. I have. She loves you. I have lung problems. <laughs> uh -uh. Like I'm, I'm constantly coughing and sneezing because of this cash because mm -hmm. I have asthma. Well, I don't have asthma. Asthma. Before I have like narrow lungs, narrow mm -hmm. airways in my. She lungs. has tiny, tiny lungs. So you'd brush the cat. Your lungs are fine. I don't know that. It could harm me. If I brush tiny, the cat, if I brush the cat and all that hair comes, I tried it. I tried it once the other day. I was fucking nearly died. <laughs> you nearly died. I, my 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 whole face was red. I had uh -huh. I'd swallowed so much hair. I was sneezing and coughing for hours. <laughs> Cats like brushing Drea. This is your chance. There should be a comment there. Cats like brushing Drea. She was very happy when she was getting brushed. She clearly loved it. Flash red. I don't know who's live. Who can I raid? Let's raid uh, this person. I don't know if I've ever raided this person. I can't remember. Go say hi. I'll be live again tomorrow. Emma won't, but they, I'll be playing something. When they come to my table and say hi, my name is, I cut them off and say, today your name is Sarah. <laughs> they don't do that in Ireland. You know, like in America, they go, no. hi, I welcome to our place. My name is David and I'll be serving you today. No. How are you feeling, sir? And said they just, they come over to you and say, are you ready to order? Do you what, want to order food? What, what you want? <laughs> <laughs> which is so much better I fucking hate if somebody calls me sir I instantly want to run away I hate it right this, uh, this person thank you for watching I'll be live again tomorrow with some probably bye. KOTOR bye 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 everybody Ciao. thank you for watching it was fun bye Alicia Sane bye bye